You are amazing. You are beautiful. Don't let anybody tell you any different. A very good morning. My name is Graham Richards. Welcome to it. You are live with Espresso. It is a Thursday morning. It is a tech Thursday here on the show where we have uh, kids reviewing toys from game, which is going to be a lot of fun to Grant Hines, a big kid, reviewing Cyberpunk 2077. Then, of course, the Top Game Awards took place, and we find out who made the top five on the list. A great idea for Christmas gifting, perhaps. It's going to be a a lot of fun there is going to be a, a certain amount of christmas cheer although i am struggling to summon the cheer this morning i have to admit because i had to walk into studio and see this man's face gloating this morning very good morning to the rest of the team yes liverpool beat spurs last night yes! hey. top of the lock jamie lee Thornburg, liverpool are back <laughs> i've never seen you this happy in my life it was a hectic game last night I was, like she and i have no more nails left it was like oh it was Biting to say the least. But also the shade you threw in in the beauty room this morning when G just came in, there was just like this. It was tension. Boys, boys, and I was like, calm down, everybody. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. I'm glad to see you this happy on this I Thursday. I am. Thank you very much. And I hope the rest of you are as well, Mzansi. We've got a magic, magic show coming up. And this morning, of course, we're asking you all things. Being Tech Thursday, of course, if you could have one piece of tech in your life or something that you're missing that you'd love to add to your Christmas wish list, what would it be? A phone, Wait. a camera, a laptop, Jamie? What would you? What do you need in your arsenal of all things? Out of these, I'm thinking like we got the phone this year. Uh, the phone comes with a good camera, and then I can do everything on the laptop. A drone. How cool would it be to have a drone? I legit was gonna say a drone. I was just picturing running in the forest and this drone, drone following me, and I'm like, "Good morning, you beautiful people. How cool would that be?" Right? <laughs> okay, big girls. <laughs> okay, you do deserve a drone. Who knows? Maybe Grant Hines has something up his sleeve for us. Maybe to teach us more about drones. Maybe even converting converting our phones into some cooler. I don't know. When Grant Hines is here, you never know what to expect. But let us know what you would like for Christmas, maybe for your Christmas gifting as well. We are connecting with you from 6 to 9 a.m. this morning. But right now, it's time to get on with those official duties and find out what's happening in those news headlines with G. Thanks so much, team. Unfortunately, painting a very dark picture. We start here in South Africa. South Africa has recorded 10,008 new COVID-19 cases in the past 24 hours for the first time since August the 1st. Highest ever single-day increase cases was on July the 24th, when 13,944 new infections were recorded. Health Minister Dr. William Kiza said last night that the new cases were at a positivity rate of 21%, which is more than double the acceptable rate of 10%. There are now 883, 687,000 cases in total. It's countrywide of Kiza and said cases were, quote, growing exponentially. And he warned that additional restrictions could be put in place should the rise continue. Staying in the country, the government is calling on all young entrepreneurs in the hard-hit tourism sector to apply for funding for their new tech startups. The Department of Tourism, in collaboration with the Technology Innovation Agency, is rolling out a program aimed to stimulate entrepreneurship and new startup enterprises in the tourism industry, underpinned by technology, innovation and new business ideas. So applications are open to people aged between 18 and 35 and close on the 8th of January. Casting a wider net on the international front, the opening uh, yesterday of the new $824 million Humboldt Forum Museum in a reconstructed royal palace in Berlin, Germany, has been overshadowed by debate over looted art and colonialism. There's been widespread criticism over the museum, housing nearly 20,000 artefacts from Africa, Asia and Oceania, mostly former colonies. The Nigerian government has sent Alia called for one of the most controversial exhibits, the Benin Bronzes, to be returned. Turned. The Benin bronzes are valuable sculptures looted from Nigeria by British soldiers in 1897. And the World Health Organization has urged Europeans to wear masks during family gatherings at Christmas. It said Europe was at high risk of a new wave of coronavirus infections in the early part of 2021 as transmission of the virus remained high. Countries across the continent have been registering thousands of daily cases and hundreds of deaths. Meanwhile, European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen said the first COVID vaccine would be authorized for use within a week. Next, interesting research regarding 
kangaroos from down under. Kangaroos can inter intentionally communicate with people and ask for help. A study has now found this challenges the idea that only domesticated animals display this type of behavior. Dr. Alan McElligott of the City University of Hong Kong study wished to determine whether kangaroos could intentionally communicate with humans. Dr. Alexandra Green of Sydney University arranged for 16 kangaroos from various wildlife parks down under, which were used to used to human presence to be available for the study. Six training trials for with food in an open box on the ground were then conducted. In a seventh one, however, the box was firmly closed. After unsuccessfully using their claws and snouts to try to search for the food, they started to glance at the experimenters and then back at the food. Next, they were sniffing at and even scratching the experimenters, sort of asking for help. Mike Elegates and Green were pleasantly shocked by this as it challenges the idea that only domesticated animals would act in this way. So next time you see an Aussie chatting to his kangaroo, remember it's a cognitive conversation in progress. You can ponder that cognitively as we move into our sporting lineup. Well, picking up where we left off yesterday in the CSA four-day challenge, John John Smuts took 3 for 47 to guide the Warriors to an 80-run victory over the Cape Cobras at St. George's Park in Port Elizabeth yesterday. And then down at the Mungwang Oval in Bloemfontein, Lions opener Dominic Hendricks put up a brave fight as the last man out on 98, but the Knights were ultimately able to cruise to a pretty straightforward nine-wicket victory in the end. And as we shift to the international focus now, 19 scalps and just five outings this season have earned Knights seam bowler Michael Pretorius, a maiden call-up to the Proteas Test Squad. That's ahead of their Test Series against Sri Lanka starting on Boxing Day. Now, under the mentorship of his coach, Proteas pace legend Alan Donald, the 25-year-old has had a superb domestic season. So we'll now join the rest of the squad in Pretoria on Saturday and may well be needed as Kachiso Rabada and Dwayne Pretorius have not yet been medically cleared to participate in the tour. Now on to football in our midweek footballing action here at home. Benny's tenure at Amazulu started with a trial by fire. That is, Golden Arrows maintained their unbeaten start to the PSL season with a 2 0 win in the KZN Derby. They'll look to get back on track as they travel to Chipper on Sunday. Speaking of which, Pirates nestled into third on the PSL log with their win over Chipper last night. And Bloom Celtic, they left propping up the top half of the table after a 2 0 victory over Barocca. Now, PSL action resumes on Friday night before a full weekend roster. And then, moving further afield, highlighting the turnaround in the Premier League this season, Southampton currently in fourth on the log played a 15th placed Arsenal. That's just five above the relegation loan zone. So despite being reduced to 10 men, Arteta I think can take some solace in his front man Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang finding the back of the net again, cancelling out Theo Walcott's first half goal against his old club. Then Leicester and Everton, they provided an intriguing start to the compelling lineup of matches. Richardson and Mason Holgate ensuring that Everton got the win and edged to within just one point of the Foxes. The evening came to an engrossing climax with number one verse two Salah getting the uh, deflection to open the account for the defending champions before Sun got in behind to equalise for Spurs. But in the end, it would be decided by a 90th minute Firmino header off a corner to ensure that Jose Mourinho still doesn't have his win over Jurgen Klopp at Anfield. And of course, Tottenham Hotspur and Liverpool trade places at the summit. Oh, the shame, Ryle. Oh, the shame. That's where we leave our sport for now. Let's take a first look at the weather. Thank you so much, Dee. Yes, let's have a first look at the weather conditions. But first, your stunning sunrise pictures. Of course, we ask you to share how your sunrise looks from your part of the country by posting a photo on Expresso's Facebook page. The first one comes from Shaheen Peterson, pulled through and sent the stunning garden view from Hermanus. Now, if you are along the garden route today, you can expect partly cloudy conditions reaching a warm maximum of 23 degrees. Another one coming through from Nick Lombard's timing for this photo is impeccable the morning sunrise with a flock of sheep in the northern cape now very sunny and warm conditions can be felt with a maximum of 33 degrees today of course you too can contribute to our weather report by capturing your sunrise and posting it on our facebook page in other news total losses from natural disasters so far this year are estimated at 175 billion dollars which is up 25 percent from 2019 now insurance giant swiss reset this yesterday 
Swiss Re said 2020 was characterized by major and unusual high numbers of natural catastrophes such as storms, wildfires and hurricanes. The insur insurer said 2020 was the fifth costliest year for the industry since 1970. Disasters in the United States, including severe thunderstorms, tornadoes, floods and wildfires, accounted for 70% of the $76 billion which went to cover losses uh, in natural catastrophes. Swiss Re cautioned that climate change was expected to aggravate such perils, driving more extreme weather events such as wildfires and floods. While bringing it back home, here's a first look at the temperatures for this beautiful Thursday. We'll start off with Polo Kwane, your low is 17 today, peaking at 21 degrees. If you do find yourself in Umbumbela today, it ranges from 20 to 24. Pretoria, it is 15, 25. Johannesburg, 14, 24, with a 46% chance of thunder showers today. Mahi King, your low is 16, with a high of 27. Klerkstorp, 17, 31. Kimberley, for you, it is 19, 34. And then Bloemfontein coming through with a minimum of 16 and a maximum of 31. Richards Bay, 21, 30. Peter Madsburg, 17, 28. And then South Africa's playground, Durban, ranges from 22 to 27 degrees. Mtata, your low is 17 with a high of 27. East London, 19.24 and a 63% chance of rain today. Craddock, 14.32. The friendly city of Port Elizabeth, PE, ranges from 18 to 24. If you do find yourself in George today, you can expect a minimum of 16 and a maximum of 22. And the mother city, Cape Town, coming through with a low of 16 and a high of 24. Vusa, 13.31. Sutherland, 10.30. And then, of course, up with a low of 21 and a high of 39. Wherever you do find yourself on this Thursday, make sure it is a feel-good kind of day indeed. Wake up and smell the coffee. I don't know why. Everything. I'm going to be a bit acid today. I'm so sorry. I'm just going to be acid today, and you're just going to have to come to terms with the fact. I will get over it. I promise you. And a good coffee <laughs> is going to help me today. We are making a decadent hazelnut mocha yes. using Nespresso's Torta di Nicuel. Limited edition festive capsule. Really interesting taste. Mmm, chocolate, hazelnut, and coffee. Three of my favorite things. Unfortunately, it has to be made by a scouser. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, I thought I'd uh, ease the heartbreak of the last night, G, and, and, and give you something you. to smile about, of course. This so making, delicious, it buddy. It is delicious, and it's so fun to make as well. So starting off with the following, right? So I've mm. just melted some chocolate in the bowl, yeah. and then everything is all hazelnut-inspired, obviously from the Dinocciella. So mm. I've got some hazelnut pieces. And How come it sounds so sexy when you say it, man? I've been practicing Dinocciella. <laughs> so what we're going to do is first place the rim of the glass on the hot chocolate, right? So okay. this is almost like that. It's like a coffee cocktail in a way. Yeah, we're getting naughty. We're getting good. naughty out here. I suppose if you're gonna if you're gonna kind of stretch your your limits as a barista, which you can do with this amazing device. Yes. You know, do it, man. Get get excited. Get get creative. I'm doing this in honor of Nicole Snelling, of course, our food stylist, and I think. Yeah, she might be, be proud. Yeah, and I like that. And don't yes. be shy. You right. want chocolate. You so want I'm going to leave this over here for okay. now while we move over to the next step. Okay. okay. So we've got our glass ready to get its espresso in. But before we do Beautiful. that, I'm going to use the barista device. Okay. If you've seen this before, it's awesome. It heats milk. It makes iced coffee. Does it does hot chocolate. Sure. So what we're going to go for is, because we're doing a mocha, I'm going to say hello to you in espresso machine firstly. And then we're going to slide over to, yeah, let's do hot milk actually. I think that's going to be the perfect option. So hot milk's in there. What I'm gonna do now is place the milk inside here firstly. It's ice cold milk, so this thing's also gonna heat milk heat up, up just on its own, which is really cool. Then, and when you look at it, it's so simplistic in its design, you think, how is it possible that you do all these things? It, it, very uh, weird, it looks oh, like a flask, basically, yeah. in a weird way, but yet it is it's like a, magical, a superhero. It's a magical flask. <laughs> <laughs> then, we're being naughty with the milk, of course, so yeah. I've got this hazelnut spread oh, that we're just gonna man. dollop in here. Dude, like when at I was at, at boarding school, this this particular spread was like gold. Was that like, if you could get a you can trade homework for You could, you could, you could literally trade a pair of shoes, <laughs> homework, doesn't matter. End of your school project sorted. <laughs> yeah. All right, so it looks like it's good to go. And it's almost it's ready so started. Quiet. There we go. That it's, yeah. uh, how does it do what it does? Can it score a soft 90th minute header? Can it do that? <laughs> we can see later <laughs> on in the show when the pressure's on, of course. So now while that's being prepared, we're going to take some time because it's obviously heating up the milk as well as melting the chocolate inside. Sure. I'm heading over to the, expre to the espresso side of things. So okay. keep it small. I've already put a capsule in here. Okay. So it's as simple as the push of a button. 
to make sure it is actually gonna. Here we go. So this is Ooh. efficiency and simplicity as, at its best. I'm making one of the most delicious cups that you can have in your home and you don't even have to do anything right now. Yes. You can let you get your work on, catch up on some mails, get a head start on the day. And I mean... And it's the smell of it as well. Like ah. you wake someone up, your significant other. This is quite romantic. Thank it you. Is it is actually. Quite <laughs> you're romantic. gonna get some brownie yeah, points, yeah? Uh, no, you're gonna <laughs> score with this one. What a way to wake up. So, Start while that is day. done, gee, let me just uh, get this to a finish. I can smell the chocolate through you already. Yeah. Let's open this up. Oh, nice. yes. Look at that. Now, you've got to be careful with this one because the last time I lifted this up, oh, there we go. a little bit too strong. Yes. Yeah. Look at this. 50 frames per second slow mo with the cameraman. Down, 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 do, down. Do, do, do. I feel like it needs like the Top Gun music. I'm going to pop this guy in here and start the process for oh, you. Oh, yes. Do I you want to do your, your rim yeah, let's do that magic rim. there? And then. We can get another one going because this looks too good. I think everyone in the studio is going to want one, so we're probably going to need to make yeah, like 16 just, of these. Just stay here. <laughs> stay here for the whole morning and get it right. Oh, that look. Yeah. It's, the, the, I've got to say, the, um, the smell coming off here, we're going to go for an espresso, eh? Gee, I'm, um, I'm, I'm going to be naughty. I did make this for you, but I mean, you've got a better one coming hot and fresh. So do you mind if I taste this? Dirt man, this, this feels like last there. night all over again. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think I've, I'm winning, and then suddenly it's all snatched away from me in a glorious moment. This one's definitely on top of the table. Uh, we have nice. a 90th winner here, guys. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> this is the one. Mm, it tastes good. Well, with the soft goal <laughs> in the win. Uh, brilliant stuff, man. This is actually creative. It's delicious. It's amazing. And it just smells. It's going to fill your mm. house with the most amazing aromas. To get your hands on this mouth-watering recipe, I really do suggest you go over to expressoshow.com. Show us a little bit of love and post a picture, please, once you've done that. Oh, man. Oh, this is good. Well done. We chose some of the world's rarest local coffee crafts and refined them to create five distinct new tastes. After all, we are the choices we make.
welcome back to it. Your feel good breakfast show. It is Express Up. Mm. We're live on SABC3. <laughs> We're jamming into it because it's your birthday. It's that time of the day. Oh, we, we wish you uh, loyal and very loved viewers a very happy birthday. And if it's your birthday today, you share it with Springbok player Ludovic Dan Diacher. <laughs> yes, otherwise known as Luit Diacher, the absolute legend. <laughs> Had his debut for the Cell Sharks, mm. delayed because of a similar injury, of course, that he picked up in the 2019 World Cup final against England. So now facing up to six months on the sidelines. We commiserate. We send you lots of energy, positive thoughts, my friend. We wish you a very speedy recovery. And of course, a very happy birthday. He's a brilliant, brilliant addition to the Springbok uh, yeah. fold. And I think they're probably missing Matt uh, Cell Sharks as well. So we wish him a very happy birthday. And of course, you guys are in good company. Are you right? I almost felt like it's your birthday today with how happy and exciting you are. You're getting stuck in the amazing yogurt. Yeah. Oh, what a you way do to your start thing, the man. morning. But listen, um, if it's your birthday, it's time for us to wish you a very happy birthday. Ronel Long, happy birthday to a special person. May this day be as sunny as your smile and as beautiful as you are. I love you. This is from Quinn. Um, Kubin and uh, Keshan, as well as uh, another message coming through here from Aya for Ayan Safar, who also look at that cuteness is celebrating oh, his birthday today. Good morning. I would like to wish my grandson a happy birthday, Ayan Safar, who is turning two tomorrow. May you have an awesome day. Love you lot. How beautiful is that? From uh, Ah, gorgeous man. Then the celebrations continue for Luisiano. Happy birthday, Luisiano, from your auntie Shanti. You are good and funny as boys. Stay that way. Very cute. And then this one, all in caps, that feeling the vibe. Ryan Pile celebrating. Happy birthday, Ryan Pile for the 18th of December from Derek, Yvonne, Creo, Kate, and Grandma. <laughs> well, you had Happy to birthday. read it that way, right? Yeah. <laughs> no, when you write it all in caps, man, you mean it. You mean it. And then um, lastly, one more birthday. Mm. Tanil, I would like to wish our beautiful daughter, Tanil Gavinda, a very happy birthday. Thank you for uh, being a loving, caring, understanding daughter. This is from your dad and your mum, uh, Neil and Anita Gavinda. such beautiful hair. Look at that uh, hair. Oh, I mean, that hair, I mean, look at that. It is laid like <laughs> a magical carpet of yes. <laughs> I told you it's happy it's, birthday. Are you sure it's not your birthday today? Why are you no, such man, a kid? I'm happy for everybody whose birthday oh, it is. Because we do, we love you. We <laughs> want to celebrate with you. And you can send us, of course, a celebratory 15 second video on WhatsApp. 71 is the number to use. And you can wish your loved ones a happy birthday live on the show or as we have become accustomed to you can sing to yourself um, and any version of happy birthday will do we'd love to hear any from version. any version but right now let's get unwrapping with the little ones this is still your feel good breakfast show right here on sabc3 now last month game launched their kids toys club competition to give children the opportunity to review their new toy range because they believe it's important to get a stamp of approval from the real toy experts the kids now we are lucky enough to have two of these experts aisha isaacs and kaylin nike joining us this morning with their honest opinions good morning you two lovely human beings how are you good and you good <laughs> listen guys i think it's so cool that you're doing this but how does it feel to be a part of the exclusive kids toys club what is it like it feels amazing to be here i mean i am very excited to review the store <laughs> you look very excited what about super you Aisha? Cool. super cool super cool super cool casual just casual like that <laughs> Kaylin, i'm gonna start with you you were given possibly one of the coolest toys to review it is the i play drifter set tell us a bit more about this toy what it does and what you loved about it the, the old button is here at the bottom it has unique drifter wheels that can make you do very cool stunts if i press this button right here it switches into a more off-roading mode and if I press this button, it puts it into an off-roading mode. Oh, look at that. That is so cool. Ryle, are you, are you jealous right I'm now? I'm jealous. I want to drive on that thing. <laughs> Yo, that'll take me to so many cool adventures. <laughs> look, Aisha, I want to know from you, though. I know that every little girl wants the toy for Christmas and uh, the one that you got to review especially. But what did you think about the Frozen Beauty set? And why do you think everyone else will love it as well? It's a little beautiful. 
Oh, it's says, definitely going it to make, make me look beautiful. You're already <laughs> so beautiful. That. Okay, now it's time for both of you to give us your official rating of your toy using your emoji panel boards and why this face you'll be using. Okay, so I'm going to start with you first, Aisha. What emoji are you giving us? Oh. Best toy ever. Oh. Best toy ever. Okay. <laughs> what about you, Best Kaylin? Best toy ever rating coming from our specialist, Aisha. <laughs> Kaylin, what is your rating? Oh. <laughs> oh, absolutely love it. Well, there we have it from the specialists themselves. Guys, thank you so much for joining us this morning. I can see you've got so many smiles on your faces for this festive, and I know you're going to be a happy one. <laughs> thank you. Ah. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. They're so cute. cute. Okay, I, <laughs> I know, I love that. it. Now listen up, the festive season is here and a lot of kids are writing their festive wish list filled with all the new toys that they are hoping to receive. So why not take the advice from our experts and head over to your nearest game store to get unbeatable deals that will give you and your little ones the happy feels this festive season. <laughs> now the opening hours are Monday to Friday from 9 to 6, Saturday from 9 to 5 and Sunday and public holidays from 9 to 4. Still locked in at your feel good breakfast show on this beautiful Thursday, and it's almost that festive time of the year when the glitz and glamour of the Kapsa Klopsa would be taking the streets. However, being in the current state of the lockdown, we will have to transform the way we experience the Khayas and the Guma Bears and Cape Town singer and performer Shadley Schroeder has just the thing that will deliver. Now, introducing the first annual, and uh, this is the moment Kaps are doing online concert taking place tomorrow from 8 p.m. Shadley is joining us here to share more about this exciting event. Shadley, how are you doing, my man? I'm good, man. A very good morning to you, guys. It's nice having you in the studio. A little bit of culture, of course. Now, I, I want to take it back a little bit. Obviously, Cape Malay culture, the minstrels, it's something that ignited that passion within mm -hmm. you. But talk to me about the music journey. Like, where did it all start for you, essentially? Wow, look, we're gonna, it's going to take a lot of time. But, <laughs> <laughs> but I started at the, at the age of uh, seven years old. Um, I sang junior solo in the Malay choirs. Okay moved over into the um, also the the, the cups of clubs as well and then I moved over into the the comic song the senior solo song um, and that's where my journey eventually started up yeah. to where I am now um, you know but, but remember that the off the, the Malay choirs is 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 Afrikaans slickly Afrikaans so it was yeah at that age it was quite difficult and, and save Afrikaans <laughs> ne? Yeah, no. <laughs> not <laughs> the <laughs> hairstyle that I might be used to now listen you've you've had a crazy opportunity this year I mean it's been a year firstly but mm -hmm. you've had a in what I would view a way to kind of use your talents for something 
good and positive. Unfortunately, we had the passing of, um, I believe it was Jordan Moore, and you sang a beautiful tribute song to about children of the world. And then on top of that, also uh, the From My Lounge to Yours, which was something that you continually broadcast. But where are all these initiatives coming from? Is it just the spur of the moment, or is there something else bigger that's creating all these cool initiatives for you? Look, well, obviously, the, my, 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 my support, my back structure, um, is quite strong, mm. you know. Um, I the, the the song for Jordan Moore that um, we are the children of the world was in in one day we were sitting on about over sixteen thousand viewers and over seven hundred comments in one day. Jeez, in less than twenty four hours. Um, it was just something at that moment. I've got a message to ask that um, you know from from a family family friend um, if it's possible for me to do a you know a song to them mm. um, to to this young um, you know as tribute type of thing because they want to use it for the memorial service mm. and create campaigns and whatever. And I came up with this initiative. Um, and wow, it was amazing um, just to see the feedback of the people. And um, it wasn't for any fame, anything like that. You know, we faced in a, in a pandemic, first of all, yeah. but also our society that we're living in. You know, let's face the facts, Cape Town. Um, it's a very difficult place to mm. live in, especially in these trying times, because people do anything to survive. Literally. Um, and yeah, it started then, and and with that being said, the My Lounge Productions is 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 a a a monthly um, broadcast. We um, very simple done, um, not like we see all this, <laughs> um, but very <laughs> simple stage, done. Yeah. Uh, kind of the same setup. I have cameras and all those things, and it's basically to touch base on artists, um, renowned artists. Um, upcoming artists um, you know you can be a musician you can be a um, comedian whatever it is um, it's also about the effect that it had um, in in the lockdown in the pandemic so it started on the 14th of August it was actually my birthday oh. that I actually wanted to create um, you know just a simple with my cell phone uh, just, yeah, just, just share just, some love and it turned and, into something and beautiful. performances on an online um, on platforms like your Facebook and your YouTube and and Instagram and yeah it started from then to where I am now and I've, like I said the, the the support structure that I have um, a very a very close guy is not going to want me to mention his name but um, <laughs> you know him motivating me every day by telling me you can do this. And yeah, that's where I find myself. And you find yourself doing something epic at the end of this year. You're finishing 2020 off with a bang, of course. This is the moment, the online concert. Talk to me about it. What can we expect? What, what's the vibe? What is it all about, man? I think, you know, the, 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 this, is, this is the moment is, is, is what I'm trying to say is that, you know, we're in the pandemic. It's not going to stop us to perform for the viewers out there yeah. and and um, this is where the initiative came from and because I have an original song it's a Cape Town thing this a Kapsadang this is the moment this a Kapsadang so this is the moment sound very really like you know very emotional but this a Kapsadang will kind of give you a feel of uh, it's kind of closer got to do something with you know yeah. a vibe yeah and that is what we're creating so we have an amazing lineup um, we have myself Shadli Skruda we have Ghalib Tofi we have um, Fakhri Isaacs we have Wayne McKay we have Prodigy Nisha Abrams Aziza Richards an amazing band as well um, and you know the, it's just to to see that this whole project came together by celebrating music, songs, lyrics, and artists. And that's what we're gonna do on Saturday evening on the 19th of December in the comfort of your own home. Yes, yes, <laughs> it's a celebration. I think everybody, not just the Cape community, but everybody in South Africa could do, uh, just do with a celebration, of course. So it sounds like you're representing that and a little bit more, but uh, for everyone at home, we are gonna be getting to hear a bit more of you and the Cape Malay Choir, obviously later in the show, but just for everybody, there is an opportunity to get those quickets. It's quicket.co.za, right? That it's obviously good. happening at 8 p.m. this weekend, but. So we will be talking more about that later in the show with Shadley. Of course, it's so good to have you in the studio. I Thanks, can't wait man. to hear the sensual tones, the gears, the guma, and everything that you bring through. So let's stick around and find out more about Shadley and carry on with the magic on the show. <laughs> And boy, don't we need a little bit of magic. It's been a tough year for all of us. And I think we all want to just ungrump ourselves ahead of the holiday season. So myself and Kutle, we headed down to our nearest game store to find out how exactly we can turn our frowns upside down. Take a look.
Ah, you can just breathe it in. It is the season. We are suddenly surrounded by carolers, by Christmas trees, by delicious treats. Oh, yes. But here's the question. Do these festivities make you excited or do they send you straight into a festive season grump? <laughs> this December, you are in luck because our friends at Game are not letting 2020 steal your Christmas spirit yeah, yeah. because they are celebrating their ungrump yourself this festive campaign. So join G and I as we're going to show you what items they have in store that are sure to flip your frown upside down this holiday season. Ready to shop? Yes. Let's do it. Oh. I'm excited to be shopping with G because first of all, it's the first time that we're shopping together. Yes, it is. Secondly, we'll be using his card. <laughs> <laughs> Such festive cheer. That's You've ungrunt me. You ungrunt me with that one. You really did. No, I'm, I'm excited to be shopping with you because it's been it's been a hard year and you've worked really hard. I think it's cool to be kind of cutting loose and just having a bit of fun. And yeah, I'm so glad that I get to do it with you, man. Aww. Whenever I come to game, I feel nostalgic. It takes me back to when I was younger doing Christmas shopping with my mother because I know that game has so much to offer, especially during the festive season. I'm trying to figure out what items I'm going to be ungrumping myself this festive season, but because I'm going to be family, it has to be family orientated. I want to get my hands on this cool cooler box that just transforms itself into a table. You can put in your refreshments in there or even your drinks if you're chilling with family, but also some board games. Spending time with my nieces and nephews requires us to constantly play games. Some sweet snacks for here and there. There's just so much I am looking forward to. Shopping and game is one of the most convenient things ever because everything you are looking for, you are assured to find under one roof. From groceries to outdoor to Christmas festive decorations, whatever it is that you want, there's just so much on offer. Customers are really going to get some awesome deals and then that's ideally what we want our customers to, to, to take away this festive season. We want customers also to shop in a safe shopping environment. And one awesome way we're going to ungrump ourselves this year is that we are actually having a comedy showcase event in, a, in selected stores on the 24th of December just to ungrump our customers and have a great sense of humor and laugh while our customers are shopping. Christmasified here in a big way so it got me into the Christmas spirit the second I walked in here and in fact this was not my first trip to game this festive season so I kind of knew my way around. I will be ungrumping myself with something that is kind of a dual present for me and my little boy as well. I'm going to be getting a gaming console. I've been reviewing games on the show this whole year. I've been introduced to all these cool new games so I think it's time that he and I crossed the digital divide and started having a little bit of fun together. My little boy, I know, is becoming quite sporty and loving being outdoors. It's time for us to upgrade his bike, definitely. So I'm going to look out for something on special, something that's a little bit bigger that he can really have fun on. Then for Linz, I know she has had her heart set on a brand new fitness watch, so I might have a look at what they've got on offer in that side. But I think in general, Lindsay absolutely adores. She's from the north of, of England, where they take Christmas to like level 12. And I think that's where I think she will be most pleased is this unbelievable selection of Christmas decorations. So I think we're going to go crazy. And then as silly as it sounds, I mean, I'll look out for some cute stuff for, for Georgia, but I'm going to buy nappies, man. <laughs> I need nappies. I've also been so unbelievably busy these last couple of months, these last few weeks, especially wrapping up the year and very preoccupied with work. To come here, to be seeing all of these beautiful Christmas decorations, knowing that I've got something special for all the amazing people in my life, I am fooled with the Christmas spirit. I'm ready for Santa. <laughs> It's December and Santa's coming with a Christmas competition just for you. We want to know how you will ungrump yourself this festive season. Mm. You can tell us how on our Facebook or our Twitter post using the hashtags GotGame and hashtag UngrumpYourself to stand a chance of winning a 2,000 Rand Game Stores voucher. Game ain't gonna let 2020 steal our Christmas. Mm -mm. 
No, sir. Of course, this competition closes on the 22nd of December 2020, but you can find all the terms and conditions on expressoshow.com. Good luck. I think I can squeeze in a few more items. Same, actually. Well, happy shopping. Happy shopping, Dee. Oh, the crowns were turned upside down. down. Yeah, uh, it sent his little face, man. <laughs> uh, it is going to be a Merry Christmas, so do yourself a favor. Go and ungrump yourself. You can do it online, you can do it in store, but you know, the array of Christmas decorations and the festive cheer you will find at game are going to undoubtedly turn that round upside down. So go and do yourself a favor and get in there and have a little bit of fun. And the nice thing is it's affordable enough to get something for everyone in your family. your 100% goodness with Crush. Scratch and stand the chance to win hundreds of goodness prizes for 100 days with hashtag Crush100. Made with love everybody this is your feel good breakfast show right here on sabc3 it is the festive season and we all know we're going to be spending a lot more time potting around in the kitchen preparing for the festive season i love yes, that can course. you just feel the gears are ready now it's everywhere it's <laughs> everywhere literally and of course we've got two crush 100 goodness lucky winners and they're going to be extra happy in the kitchen this festive because they have each one fabulous teffel appliances now you're ready for this people to find out who our winner is can i get a drum roll Oh, winner number one is Kulwani Masana! Oh, yeah! All right, hey. over there. And we have another one. Another who is... one. You're gonna give us a drum roll? Another I'll do it, I'll do it, I'll do it. Yeah, drum roll! Jeanette van Skalkwijk! Yes! Both of you are going on our leaderboard right now, so we'll start over here. There we go. Looking oh, good. That face is on there. All ready for the festive season. Loving that. Congratulations to both of you. Remember, it's that easy yeah. to win. All you have to do is take a look at how quick it is to enter. 
Are you ready to stand a chance to win 100% goodness prizes with crush such as Nutri Bullets, Veggie Bullets, Tefal Kitchen Appliances, Bar Fridges, Skincare Products, Fitness Products and Vouchers? 100% you are. 100% goodness winners will be announced daily on Expresso from Monday to Friday from September through December. To enter, buy crush promo packs. See the back of the label to scratch. And if you find a unique code, dial the USSD number on the pack to stand a chance to win immediate prizes or go into the grand prize draw. If you do not find a unique code, keep buying Crush to find the hidden codes. Crush is 100% fruity, fresh, tasty and refreshing. Made with love by Clover. All right, it's time for us to bring it back to the kitchen and listen to this. A wise woman once said, let them eat cake. And we're being uh, obviously, uh, you know, we're listening to that. We've been obliging her ever since from chocolate to cheesecake. We've got all of your favorites and considering the festive season is upon us, we're bringing you the Be Well Christmas carrot cake filled with the warming flavors of cinnamon, ginger and nutmeg and the sweet treat will keep <coughs> your cravings satisfied. Good morning. Good morning, how are you? Good, thank you. How are you doing? Good, I'm not sure so how So who's going to be doing the work? Because I've, I'm wearing an apron. You're, you're the person that's going to be baking the cake. Why am I wearing the apron? I I'm, I'm the professional. I make sure you stay clean. I know how to stay clean. Okay, all right. Okay, so you're bringing in uh, some really cool, uh, I suppose, tips and ways yes. of making this carrot cake in the most delicious way, but the easiest way as well. So when it comes to baking, people get very scared, especially this time of year. Yeah. And, but making a cake like this, one bowl of cake, you mix everything together, it's very easy. Mm. So we start off here in our bowl. We've got our cake flour already sifted. Yeah. Then we add all our beautiful Christmas spices, that li very lovely ginger. You see, those are the kind of things that when you step into somebody's home, you already can tell it smells like Christmas, right? Yes. Those some are the ingredients. Ginger, nice. mm. and then some nutmeg, Stunt. lovely, a beautiful some allspice, uh -huh. and a lovely uh, cinnamon. Oh, yes, yeah, cinnamon. I mean, that's Nothing what says Christmas, Christmas is. Exactly. more than cinnamon. Yes. Lovely. And now uh, some salt. Obviously, you need salt in your cake, a little bit of salt. Yes. A raising agents, a bit of baking powder, uh -huh. and a bit of, what is cook soda in English? Baking soda. Here we go. Oh. Baking soda. <laughs> you know, I'm actually Afrikaans, you know. <laughs> oh, no ways. You people must know that our word sometimes runs out. I never would have imagined or guessed that you're Afrikaans. <laughs> I, I, mean, I know I sound international, but I actually am local. Oh, <laughs> what a thing to happen. <laughs> <laughs> Some sugar. Lovely, you can use normal sugar. You can either use caster sugar yeah. or normal white sugar. It's up to you. Okay. Then we add our eggs. What do you prefer, normal white sugar or custard, um, uh, the other sugar? I, when it comes to baking, I prefer what I have in my cupboard. Okay, cool. And that's, yeah. that's, that's a tip. That's yes. tip number one. Make use of what you've got in your cupboard. Because baking is so intimidating, don't start with funny things you don't know. If you've got normal sugar, even brown <laughs> sugar will work. It's up to you. I love that. Okay, and then our Be Well canola oil. Mm -hmm. This is the magic of this cake. You know, I, I once spoke to Ina Palmer and she told me, when you bake a cake, yeah. the measurement of how good it is, when it tastes even better the next, day. Oh, wow. So okay. adding canola oil gives exactly that. Wow. It's going to be moist and it's going to be lovely. So a cup and a half mm -hmm. goes in here. I like how you make this all look so simple. You are just going with so much flair, it's, so much ease. It's Christmas. And we know that our <laughs> Be Well Canola Oil is locally produced. Uh, Be Well Canola Oil. It's a naturally cholesterol free, low in saturated fat and high in omega-3. So all that goodness it is endorsed by the uh, South African Hot and Stroke Foundation which means it's good for you. It's always, it's Christmas. You can be healthy and have your cake at the same time. Yes, yes, absolutely. Okay, so that's our basic, our basic batter. Great. Obviously, we're making carrot cake, so mm -hmm. we add our carrots. Great. And that's going to make a lot of people feel like they're not even eating cake. You're getting your veggie intake in, right? Exactly. You're having prefer, vegetables, carrots. I prefer to keep it coarse, uh, coarsely grated. It adds okay. more texture. You know, the beautiful little pockets of carrot inside yes, there. Yes, you're going to find lots of them in there. What is that? Another secret ingredient for a carrot cake yeah. is a bit of pineapple, crushed pineapple. Really? Again, it helps to keep a cake nice and moist, that beautiful tropical oh, flavor. Wow. It gives it a freshness. Exactly. It gives it that freshness. I've, I've always wondered where that comes from because I can never pick up the pineapple. It's not overpowering when you have it in no. the cake. And maybe that's, that's the trick is to not make it overpowering. It, it's a classic actually combination of 
a hummingbird cake. So if, it, if you want, you can add a bit of uh, banana in yeah. there. You know, the whole year we've been banana crazy, so might as well yes. add it to your carrot cake. Well, it's been the year of the banana. <laughs> this year has been like a banana. <laughs> the year of the banana. Oh. I'm going to remember that. Okay. <laughs> and then a bit of nuts, also to add more texture. You know, it's all about texture. Ooh. Crunch, crunch, crunch. And then some coconut flakes. Stunning. All lovely and beautiful. If you don't have coconut flakes, normal desiccate that little fine coconut. It's a big word for me. Beautiful. I've been called a coconut before. Have you? Mm. You're a beautiful coconut. Thank you for that. Okay, so that's our batter. <laughs> then you can make our, our icing if you want to. That's why we've got an apron. Yeah, oh, okay, so now I get to do the real work. Okay, yes. I'm very excited about this. I get really excited to get to, you know, to interact, to help out in the kitchen around this time. And I think it, it's part of the energy and, and then yes. setting the mood, right? Butter. So you're just going for it. You even know what What's I in instructed here? you. <laughs> in there, you got your cream cheese. Okay, and now this? Now you add your butter. butter. Okay, cool. <laughs> Let's see how good you are in the kitchen. Look at me, going. Ah, oh, lovely. Mm -hmm. Now you're supposed to cream that together. Okay. Oop. Yeah, lovely. Very professional. Very. I'm going to add some vanilla extract. Nice, to give it like a nice moistness. Yeah. Keeping up the tropical like flavors, flavor. you can also add a bit of rose water maybe, mm -hmm. orange blossom water, you know. Yeah. Beautiful cardamom would go lovely with that. Ooh. Doing a great job there, I can see. Nice. <laughs> I'm glad. Oh, I can smell that vanilla. It smells and we so add good. Some Icing sugar. Yeah. Also, remember when you add your icing sugar to your mm. to your icings, make sure it's sifted because icing sugar tends to have a lot of lumps. Lumps. In it. Yeah. yeah. And you don't want the lumps. You don't want that. No, you want that smooth. It smooth. Okay. Great. Okay. Mm -hmm. Listen, if you want this recipe, we've made it pretty easy for you to get, it, get your hands on it. Uh, go on our website, it's expressoshow.com. Uh, the recipe uh, is there with all of these ingredients that we're using. And uh, before you know it, you have impressed the whole community with your carrot cake this festive all season. Family. So our, our cake goes into a, a pan, bake mm. it nice, beautiful golden How long? Brow. About 25 to 30 minutes. You want that beautiful golden crust on the outside and that loveliness. Let it cool down. Important when you make cakes that you layer, yeah. you have to cool it down. Otherwise, your, your beautiful icing is going to melt out and you don't I want that. absolutely love it. Well, you know what? Well done. This is really fantastic. It's a very easy way to make carrot cake. Oh. Uh, is this the badge of honor for somebody who's graduated yes. in culinary school? Yeah, I'll keep it still for a little bit. For, for a little you. bit before. Yeah, okay, it moves on. Queen Go on expressoshow.com. Make this uh, be well. Uh, of course, carrot cake that we made this morning and let us know how it goes if you make it before christmas send pictures to us we'll see you after this well done thanks my friend be well love food life
Welcome back. Let's get conscious for a moment right now. True societal change is not possible without effective leaders and the world's biggest network of those change agents, Global Citizen, is gearing up to honor those who are making extraordinary efforts for the world's most vulnerable with their upcoming 2020 Global Citizen Prize show. Cannot wait. And of course, the second edition is being hosted again by singer and songwriter John Legend, a favorite of ours mm. in your Feel Good Breakfast show. And we're being encouraged to really celebrate the heroes amongst us who have stepped up with strength, with compassion and with humanity against a backdrop of unprecedented global changes. Yeah, it's been a tough year. Four major awards in the categories of Global Citizen of the Year, World Leader of the Year, Business Leader and then the Special Cisco Youth Leadership Award will be distributed as part of the show as well as local country hero awards given in six key markets including South Africa. So we congratulated our deserving winner, the Wise Canadian collective last week and in addition to the awards the broadcast and digitally streamed show will also feature inspirational stories and unforgettable performances that will bring together influencers artists activists and of course global leaders to remind everyone that there are many reasons still to be hopeful as we now enter into 2021 and you can be witness to who is being awarded at the 2020 a global uh, uh, Global Citizen Prize show. You can catch it right here on SABC3 on Sunday the 20th of December from 9.30pm. Remember to escape the norm with SABC3 this summer. All right, so we cannot wait to celebrate. And I know at this stage of the year, a lot of us are feeling that fatigue. So maybe this is the kind of thing we need is to actually look at the flip side of what this year has done. And maybe there are opportunities to see the best in humanity because, man, people have put their hands up this year and done some incredible things in the face of adversity. So adversity. So we, we congratulate them, all of those winners, but be a part of that show. Right now, though, it is almost at the top of the hour, which means time to get back into those news headlines. And, of course, I'll bring you up to speed on the sporting headlines. Yes, Tottenham Hotspur <laughs> lost to Liverpool. It's just before 7 o'clock. Thank you very much, Team Time, for us to take a look at those news headlines. We start off here at home in South Africa, where President Cyril Ramaphosa says true reconciliation is only possible if the country is committed to tackling the challenges that most South Africans have to live with. In his virtual Day of Reconciliation message yesterday, the President said South Africans must work together to improve social cohesion. He also appealed to landowners and businesses to support government policies of economic and land reform, as well as said councillors, mayors and ministers should rededicate themselves to the people and respect their resources. South Africa recorded 10,008 new COVID-19 cases in the past 24 hours for the first time since August the 1st. The highest ever single day increase in cases was on the 24th of July when 13,944 new infections were recorded. Health Minister Dr. Zuelim Kize said that last night uh, that the new cases were at a positive rate of 21%, which is more than double the acceptable rate of 10%. There are now 883,687 cases in total countrywide. And Kiza said cases were, quote, growing exponentially. He warned that uh, additional restrictions could be put in place should the rise continue. In international news, a team of 10 international scientists will travel to the Chinese city of Wuhan next month to investigate the origins of COVID-19. The world has Health organization has said the virus is thought to have come from a so-called wet in the city selling animals. Uh, one of the scientists said that the mission was not about finding a guilty country, but rather about trying to understand what happened and then to establish if, based on those data, similar risks could be reduced in future. The opening yesterday of the new $824 million Hum, uh, Hum, Humboldt Forum Museum is a reconstructed royal palace in Berlin, Germany has been overshadowed by a debate over looted art and colonialism. Uh, there has been widespread criticism over the museum, housing nearly 20,000 artifacts from Africa, Asia and Oceania, mostly former colonies. The Nigerian government has inter alia uh, called for one of the most controversial exhibits, the Benin bronzes, to be returned. The Benin bronzes are valuable sculptures looted from Nigeria by British soldiers in, in 1897. And next
next some news from the world of entertainment. A recording has emerged of Tom Cruise apparently shouting at workers on the set of Mission Impossible 7 and threatening to fire them if they didn't adhere to COVID-19 guidelines. An expletive laden audio in which uh, Cruise angrily shouts, quote, if I see you doing it again, you're gone, spread the internet like wildfire. Apparently, Cruise had spotted two crew members standing too close to each other in front of a computer screen and that was when he lost his cool. Cruz afterwards received wide praise for his reaction. Well-known US radio host John Rocker uh, wrote, I wish more people in charge would react like this to people who violate protocols uh, or do not wear masks. Filming of Mission Impossible 7 is currently underway in the UK. The Mission Impossible franchise is hugely successful at the box office starring Cruz as Ethan Hunt. The seventh movie had to pause filming in Italy in February due to the concerns surrounding the coronavirus outbreak. And that's where we leave it for now. The next update will be just in uh, over half, an, well, in over an hour. Here's Graham right now with a look at what's happening in the world of sport. Thanks so much, Tubbs. Let's start with local cricket news, picking up where we left off yesterday. In the CSA four-day challenge, John John Smuts took three for 47 to help guide the Warriors <clears throat> excuse me, to an 80-run victory over the Cape Cobras. That was down at St. George's Park in Port Elizabeth yesterday. Then at the Mungwang Oval in Bloemfontein, Lions opener Dominic Hendricks did put up a brave fight as the last man out on 98, but the Knights were ultimately able to cruise to a pretty straightforward nine-wicket victory. Now, as we shift to the international focus, 19 sculpts in five outings this season have earned Knights seam bowler Michael Pretorius a maiden call-up to the Protea Test squad. That, of course, ahead of their Test series against Sri Lanka starting on Boxing Day. So under the mentorship of his coach, Protea's pace legend Alan Donald, the 25-year-old has had a superb domestic season and will now join the rest of that Protea squad on Saturday in Pretoria. May well be needed as Kajisa Robada and Dwayne Pretorius have not yet been medically cleared to participate in that tour. And on to football in our midweek footballing action here at home. Benny's tenure at Amazulu started with a trial by fire as Golden Arrows maintained their unbeaten start to the PSL season with a 2-0 win in the KZN derby. He'll look to get on track as they travel to Chipper on Sunday. Speaking of which, Pirates nestle nicely into third on the PSL log with their win over Chipper last night. That while Bloom Celtic left uh, propping up the top half of the table at 10th. That's after a 2-0 victory over Barocca. The PSL action will resume on Friday night with just one encounter before a full weekend roster. Then uh, staying with football, highlighting the turnaround in the Premier League this season, Southampton, currently in fourth on the log, played a 15th placed Arsenal. Despite being reduced to 10 men, Arteta can take some solace in the fact that his frontman Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang did find the mark again, cancelling out Theo Walcott's first half goal against his old club. Then Leicester and Everton, they provided a rather intriguing start to the competing lineup of matches last night. Richarlison and Mason and Holgate ensuring that Everton got the win and edged within just one point of the Foxes on the log. And then the evening came to a pretty engrossing climax with number one verse two. Salah getting the deflection to open the account for the defending champions before Sun got in behind to equalize for Spurs. But in the end, it would be decided by a Roberto Firmino header off a corner in the 90th minute to ensure that Jose Mourinho still doesn't have his win over Jurgen Klopp at Anfield. And of course, Tottenham and Liverpool trade places at the summit. And that's where we leave our sport for this hour. We'll touch on those headlines again at 8 o'clock right now. Let's take a look at the beautiful skies above your part of South Africa. Thank you so much, G. Once again, we did ask you to share your sunrise pictures from your part of the country by posting them on Expresso's Facebook page. This one coming from our social media guru, Mike Wright, pulls through with a gorgeous sunrise from outside our very own studios. Now, the mother city can experience pleasant conditions reaching a warm of 24 degrees today. Another one coming through from Yulin Pulsa van Ster, captured this morning sunrise from the friendly city Port Elizabeth. Now, PE, you can expect warm conditions also 
reaching a max of 24 degrees. Of course, you too can contribute to our weather report by capturing your sunrise and posting it on our Facebook page. We absolutely love seeing it. Uh, and now a bit of sad news. Uh, sad news is from KwaZulu-Natal is that at least two people have died, two were injured and one was missing after severe storms in KwaZulu-Natal on Tuesday. The provincial government yesterday said search and rescue teams had found the body of one of the two people who were swept away by a river in full flood at Muden in the Umgunglu Lovu area. The other person is still missing and the government said one person was also fatally injured by lightning in Bumaneni and two others sustained injuries while on their way home. And our thoughts and prayers are with those uh, this morning. Now bring it back home for the second look at your temperatures for the day. Starting off with Polokwane, your low is 17 today, peaking at 21. Umbumbela ranges from 20 to 24. If you're out and about in Pretoria, your low is 15 with a maximum of 25. Johannesburg, 14, 24 with a 46% chance of thunder showers today. Mahikeng ranges from 16 to 27. Clerksdorp, your minimum is 17 with a high of 31. Kimberley coming through with a low of 19 and a high of 34. And then Bloemfontein following shortly with a low of 16 and a high of 31. Richards Bay ranges from 21 to 30. Peter Maritzburg, 17, 28. And of course, South Africa's playground, Durban, ranges from 22 to 27. Mtata, your low is 17 with a high of 27. East London ranges from 19 to 24. Craddock, 14, 32. And as I mentioned, the friendly city of Port Elizabeth is with a low of 18 and a high of 24. George coming through with a minimum of 16 and a maximum of 22. The mother city Cape Town ranges from 16 to 24 today. Worcester, 13, 31. Sutherland, 10, 30. And then last but definitely not least, Uppington coming through with a low of 21 and a high of 39. Wherever you find yourself, remember to keep it locked right here on your Feel Good Breakfast Show. Uh, so I'm sitting here thinking, is he a superhero? You know, is he some kind of freak of nature? Both. He's All a of world the record holder, I'll <laughs> tell you that. <laughs> um, I'm guessing he's got a pretty good power to weight ratio. Thomas Fantona is here to talk about a, an incredible world record that is going to blow your mind. We'll do that in a it moment. Is, and I'm, I'm scared because he's going to be training with me later good. as well. A world record Working athlete boy. with some, <laughs> some arms from another world. I'm scared. I'm nervous. But you guys need to stick around because after the show, or oh, after the break, of course, we've got some more magic coming at you. And this man is taking us through the paces. Woo! <laughs> We don't have a rope here, though. We don't have a rope. <laughs> Are you ready for a sizzling summer holiday, Mzanzi? Your best holiday is yet to come when you book at any of our participating Marriott branded hotels. Redefine your holiday with a beach break, nature retreat, or a road trip adventure. With our summer holiday offer, you can enjoy 25% off standard hotel rates, including free breakfast if you're a Marriott Bonvoy member and 15% if you're a non-member. Book on Marriott.com for the best rates guaranteed.
to be outside, loving your green spaces, enjoying the transformation you can bring about with your hands. Make Steel part of your sweet summer magic, because with Steel, summer is better. And so is your home. Bring nature home with Steel. It's my feel good breakfast show. Welcome back. Hopefully right now we're going to blow your mind. So while others dream of becoming maybe an accountant, something professional, there are those, I'm going to say, genetically gifted people who dream of becoming a world champion obstacle course racer. And if you didn't know you could pursue a professional career in obstacle course racing, well, now you know you can and you can take it to a whole different level as well. He joins us to tell us a little bit about his recent Guinness World Record break for the fastest 50 meter rope climb. Thomas Fantona, welcome yeah. back, my friend. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks, man. It's real. You took a breath there like you haven't done it already. You've done it, man. <laughs> no, you say that. It sounds, uh, sounds rather impressive, that list, that list you put out there. But, oh, bro, it is, man. <laughs> it is quite an impressive thing, I man. can't take it. No one else has done it. Listen, man, uh, before we get into the good stuff, of course, I, I remember chatting to you earlier on the show in lockdown. We had a, a brief moment to train. and. Yeah. I could see it, I could feel it. You were missing OCR racing. There was nothing happening. Oh, it's so, so true. It, I'm, I'm sure that this was your next best thing. Like you needed that fix. Clearly, you need to do something with this <laughs> gift and this body of yours. So, I mean, why decide to do this? No, I think you nailed it there. And like, in short, it's just everyone felt so, I almost want to say negative and yeah. down and no events, no sportive stuff coming up. And for an athlete, like you train, but for what? Like, what are you training yeah. for? It's like nightmare. And so th yeah. this was definitely my fix. It was like, I need to do something that I feel has a, like an impact on me to just do something positive, something big. And the, the rope climb was, was definitely that for me. How do you train for something like this? Because I would imagine on the day, getting into that zone where, and often you'll see that in a competition where the adrenaline kicks in and you're able to perform so much better. Yeah, it's just mm. you. It's you up against the beasts. Yes. How did you train to get this right? And were you confident going into it that you were going to get it right? Um, how did I train for this? Uh, we, that, that was a very difficult thing to do. Like the first two months of training for this, we had about a five month build up. And the first two months was we were in lockdown level five and at home. What's the highest thing you On can find? On your curtains. Like, like curtains. <laughs> yes, that, that we, we, we had some setups at home with a rope in, into a tree, maybe four meters high. And that was the, the start of it. Um, as soon as we got out of the, the lockdown months, at least we had a, a, a City Rock climbing gym in, in Johannesburg where we put a, a 12 meter rope up to the ceiling and we just had reps on that. Um, like the closest thing we could find to simulating this, this extremely long climb. Like it was really hard finding ways to train for it because it's just so different. It's, there's, there's not much that kind of plays into this. So we had a climbing gym, 12 meter rope, um, we did reps on up to the ceiling as, as, as many as we can to get as close to as we can like simulating this thing. It was a, quite an insane journey. But the, the second half of your question, like mentally, it was extremely hard not to have the competition around you. Yeah. It's like you normally you rock up at a race, there's like a hundred guys next to you all pumped and yeah. ready to race. Pushes and like, you, man. Yeah. It really takes you into that, that next level of, of pushing yourself. But being alone, like halfway up that rope, it's like 40 meters to the ground, another 50 to the top, like 30 at least to the side, you're on this rope alone. It's, it's mentally really hard to like stay focused and push hard. Yeah. Up there, a little birdie on the rope. <laughs> <laughs> and you're looking at the visuals, it's way up. It's, it's way it's up. It's even right? higher than it looks on the photos. Like from the bottom, yeah, it's high. But you get to the top and you look down, I had this little bit of a moment of like, Oh crap, like, yeah, I, 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 I made a mistake. <laughs> what <laughs> what did I get myself into? Yeah. Look, so, I mean, the day comes through, right? So it, it sounds like training alone was difficult because you, you, you're doing a 90 meter rope climb, but the highest rope simulation you had was 12 meters. True. So you've actually technically never been that high before. So take me through the race. I mean, I watched it. You blitzed through that first 50 like I cannot even believe. Then it looked like you were going to call it. And then somehow, <laughs> like, the second muster of strength comes through and you Talk, talk me the race, man. What was, what that, was your mind doing? <laughs> that, sound, that sounds pretty accurate. Yeah. Um, like, game day, it's always like a build-up if you have like an event or something. Yeah. It's a big build-up. And if you actually get to game there, like, it's a bit surreal. Like, okay, now I actually have to do this or attempt this. And um, I felt rather confident in the training we put in. Yeah. But I mean, climbing indoors in a climbing gym, controlled environment, there's no wind, there's no like... 
and then getting to that tower and having a 90 meter rope like straight up in there and everything is swinging and turning and there's it's a very different setting and just to kind of try and compose myself firstly like okay like we got this um the first 50 so the guinness world record was fastest 50 meter rope climb within the the 94 meter of the, of the full summit and that first 50 was i needed to put everything i had into nailing that first 50 because like a world record you don't want to put up like a just enough okay time you, <laughs> you really want to keep it, up it for a while man yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so i truly wanted a, like a, a really good time on the 50 so I, I tried to just everything i had into that 50 but then after that you're just over halfway up the rope and now you're completely blown and <laughs> you have to find a way to Don't completely lack the care. Yes, it's, it was quite a surreal feeling like getting to that 50 meter mark tapping that timing box i had a look down at the watch i saw three minutes something is like i'm pretty sure i got this record but now i've got to firstly survive on this rope for the next like five to ten minutes yeah. somehow get my breath back somehow <laughs> try to get the arm pump out and still climb the rest of the rope it was a let's just say i was way far out of my comfort zone that was that was quite a nice. quite a deep effort <laughs> just imagine with not having those neural pathways activated in your brain the next time you do get to actually race and yeah. what that means um i pity the true. fool i pity the fool <laughs> uh, but congratulations my friend an inspiring mm. feat i think not just to athletes but south africa needs these kind of stories right now i mean need to see people pushing the boundaries of human endeavor and you've done that you're Thanks, you're man. a world record holder man <laughs> yeah. that is incredible so you're gonna you're gonna get to train with a world record holder i am you should be excited or scared i don't know we both. don't have a 50 meter rope yet so i think you are safe but <laughs> um, yeah brilliant brilliant um uh, achievement there so congratulations and thanks for for bringing that chair to our studio man yeah i think it's 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 almost i want to say an an honor, honor to be in a position where I'm able to do something that kind of just means something to people out there. It's, it's really been inspiring all the feedback that's coming, that's been coming back from this project. So it's, it's almost an honor and um, yeah, thanks. It's definitely warranted. Next, 100 meters. Just saying, <laughs> just saying. But we're going to get into a little bit of fitness. Or well, I say we loosely. Raul's going to get into a bit of fitness in just a moment. Do you want to stick around? <laughs> I know. Yeah, no. Hi, Thomas. Yo. Setting Impressive. Yo, it's too much. Listen, it is now time to hashtag bring nature home this summer. Growing a hedge or screening a plant is one of the best ways to ensure that your privacy remains intact while bringing a bit of nature into your life. We all need that greenery in our life. Mm, true, and that's why our friend Tanya Fisser shares her tips and tricks in keeping your garden hedges groomed and in perfect condition. Hey guys, I'm Tanya Fisser, your garden guru, and today we're going one-on-one to hedge or not to hedge. So there are many common mistakes that are made with hedging, but let's first talk about why do we have hedging? Well, if we've moved into a home or a new home, existing home, and we've got neighbors that we don't really want to see, the first thing we do is run out to a garden center, get the appropriate plants and make a hedge. But it, when it comes to pruning is when we make the fatal mistakes. Because some of you, and I know you've got this at home, you've got a hedge, but you can actually see through it. Now, What's the point of that? Let's give you the basics. Right, first thing we need to do is get our stakes in place. And these are really important. Please don't skip the step, guys. So pop it in onto the edge and then just give it an, a good whack. Right, first one's done. Now we go to the other end and pop it in. Next up, guys, we take our twine and we attach it to our stake and you want to attach it to the final height that you're wanting to prune at and remember it's important that we don't do aggressive pruning so that you prune right down and remove all the foliage because then what you're going to end up with is sunburn putting the plant under stress and ending up with a hedge that really looks a bit bald which is not the idea at all final step guys is to use our little line level and that we're going to pop on there pop there and let's see how good my eye is. And it's so important that you do this prep right. Also remember we're using this line as our outer trim as well as our top trim. So make sure that if it's sitting way in there, ooh, no, 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 then you want to move those guards out a little bit so that you're actually getting the right cut and using this guide for the purpose that it's meant. So all I need to do here is lift this end up just a wee bit. 
prep is done, now we can get down to the tools. I much prefer using one of these guys because my accuracy just seems to be so much better because it's got a longer blade. When you're using those little guys, you know, eh, 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 you tend to, number one, get very fatigued and start losing concentration. Um, it's not as much fun. So, one click in, it's still not fully engaged. Check my power, looking good. At this point, I can now take off the guard very safely. There we go. And second click in, right, and we're good to go. A couple of things I want you to know. Try and keep the, the tool as close to your body as possible because that gives you control. I like keeping one part of the, of the machine, this back end, just rested on my leg because it just gives me that extra control. Whatever you're doing, try and keep the machine as level as possible. So not like that, not like that. That's why we've got this line over here and smooth, gentle movements. Guys, this is for regrowth. This is not for chopping down trees or any old branches. Use the tool for the right application. Guys, I'm really happy with the top. You'll notice we're hardly taking off anything. And that's because of the frequency. You might say, does that mean I've got to do it every few weeks? Absolutely not. With hedge growth, you generally only gonna need to do it once every two months. Now let's get to the side. And that's why this cord is so important, our twine. And we're gonna try and stay as straight as possible. And remember, instead of going inwards like that, we actually rather want it to be like that so that we can allow light in. Can you imagine how difficult it would be to be carrying a cord behind you that's attached to an extension? Well, I'm sure that uh, you might have cut it once before because I certainly have. And that's why I much prefer the battery operated tool. And that's basically it, folks. Notice the top is really nice and level. We've kept the top of the hedge narrower than the base. Remember, look here. Here's the top, and as we go down, so you see it is much wider. And that is most important to allow light down there so that you can have a hedge that is thick and full, green and lush, so that you can't see the neighbors. Well, guys, that's the 101 on hedging. All I've got left to do now is clean up my mess, and I'm going to use the trusted blower for that, the one that we showed in yesterday's clip. Join me tomorrow, same time, same place, where we show you some beautiful Christmas decor that you can make. Oh man, Tanya Fisser is like a genius. I don't know. She is, is a genius. We love you, Tanya. Thank you very much for that. That is very insightful. Uh, and hedges are great. This is the perfect time of the year where you want to make sure if you've taken care of yours that you're going to be able to enjoy it. But Tanya has become so popular on our social media that we absolutely have to share some of these comments that have come through. Certainly. This one is from Pride Delicious Similar and it says, Expression Show is the best. Thank you for bringing Tanya to the show in love face. I have a vegetable garden with a few uh, fruit trees that I started by just planting seeds and not knowing what else to do besides watering it and harvesting. This is awesome. Well, uh, we're so glad that you get uh, to learn from Tanya because yes. we are certainly uh, learning every from her day. every single day. Yep. And uh, then we've got one from Lynn as yes, well. Yes, absolutely. Uh, Lynn Ings Arger says, that Tanya, your advice is so helpful as it is as usual, but you are making me so envious. I wish I could have all the hashtag steel. Oh, still. Steel, steel. Still, I haven't read that properly. Sorry, still, still items. Uh, and the thing is, yes, you do need to, I suppose the magic does come through from those steel uh, 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 equipment pieces. Uh, but hopefully that inspires you to already start stocking up on that. This is fantastic. Tanya, they love you and we certainly do love you. So please do keep commenting uh, and sharing all of that love with Tanya on our Facebook page. Expresso Morning Show, SABC3. Lots more feel good coming your way, so don't move. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard Mango Airlines, where they strive to meet every unique need of their customers by tailoring each interaction to suit their needs. While we prepare for takeoff into the holiday season, Mango would like to thank you for your most valued support and loyalty during this new normal. Now, fasten your seatbelts. 
take note of your safety card, which can be found in the seat pocket in front of you and take this time to enjoy your festive moments responsibly with your most loved ones and families. The exits into the new year are this way and that way. May 2021 be a prosperous, healthy and safe one for all. Go discover more. Go Mango. Terms and conditions apply. Welcome back. You're still locked in at your Feel Good Breakfast Show. And of course, if you were watching earlier, we are about to get some fitness tips from a champion in obstacle course racing. Now, Thomas Van Tonda is the name, and we are so glad you're in the studio with us because this time around, he's going to show us some exercises in person. Yes! <laughs> now, please take us through what is going to be happening. Thomas, of course, a few questions before we even begin. Are we doing a full body? Are we going to be working the same muscles we did for that rope climb, or is it everything? So the idea for workout today is more just to kind of get in full body weight okay. movement workouts. It's a bit of a flow. Um, I think we'll just start with uh, one movement. We'll add to two, add to three, and it'll progress on up to four or five, and then we'll cut them all back. Nice. Again. So we're going to level it up as we go. Yes. Right. So Zanzi, I think you guys want to definitely get involved with this. If you want to start working on your world-breaking record skills, then Thomas Van Tonen is the man, and he's come to the studio specially to teach us how. So let's take it from the beginning. Where do we start? What, what's happening? So basically, I want you with your feet about shoulder width apart. Okay. All right. We're going to start with the first movement and we'll do that one uh, after that we'll add on the second one will be first and second first okay and third. so we call this one level one this is level right, one level one let us begin level one i want you to do an eccentric squat so you're going to start from standing just slowly down i want you yeah. to control that descent into a deep squat at the bottom and that i want you to take that into explosive movement going up okay. all right level one eccentric squat with a squat jump slow down fast up i like that the fact that you're doing eccentric loading working the yes. muscles quite nicely exactly. for strength and performance and then explosive power on yes. the squat all right i see you it's the other I way around you. i see you. So okay. first, What's first movement. So from the second move, first movement done. The second one will be walking to the front, having core, having glutes activated into a plank Ooh, okay. spot. Okay, level two. Let us begin. All right. So one eccentric first, squat. Eccentric okay. squat down slowly. With you feeling the burn in the glutes now. Jump it up. <sighs> take it back down, and then walk out on your hands into a straight plank. You can uh -huh. activate your core, activate your glutes, get your shoulders working, yeah, and then walk it. that back <sighs> into that low squat, into standing. So you get that full body, that yes. neural activation, everything works. The body is alive now, all right. We're ready. <laughs> I'm we're glad, ready. I'm glad. Level two, ticked. What's ticked next? Ticked done. Add level three on. So same thing again. We'll do one, two, and then into okay. three. So you want that slow down. Slide. You want to explode up, land it nicely back, 
into your planking spot at the front and you're gonna lower that down slowly, again eccentric, down to the floor and then explode that up. Walk it back to the squat and take it up to standing. So you get Man, that everything I gotta kind say, of working that, together. That's like almost full body ready. We've got the chest, that's we've got idea. the shoulders, we've got the triceps, the core, yes. the legs. Man, this is epic. We're <laughs> on level three, all right? It's like Let's obstacle go. racing, you kind of need everything to be working together. Okay, so I, I can kind of say this, the next obstacle is about mm. to come through. So what is that? Let's go. <laughs> so from now, um, from the bottom position, I'll add another movement in just to get that end and then bring it all back again. Beautiful, okay. So we're starting at the thing, beginning again. Same okay, thing, let's, let's take go. it slow down. Eccentric loading, working those hammies and the To the bottom, fire it up. Power. Control that landing. Feeling the quads now, I must say. Yes. Walk right. it out. Some shoulder Activate action. shoulders, glutes, core, down eccentric slowly. Triceps and chest. To the ground. Oh. Take it back up to the push-up. And I want you to bring your one knee to your elbow. So keep, the, keep your body straight, keep okay. it level. You touch your knee to and your elbow. And now you're making my core work here, my it. man. Okay, Slowly. I got you. Control it the other side. Okay, other side. That's mm. it. Then we take the whole thing back. So down to the push up. Up. Walk it back to the squat. Oh. Back to standing. I love the one you just added there. That's like the magazine muscle that every man wants. <laughs> That's Levi exactly. lines were like nailed there. I love that <laughs> oblique. That was really awesome. So we've got time for one more. So that, the, the full workout. We can add one more at the bottom. Yes, let's do it. We go one more time. One more, so one more chance for one more. Full circuit. I'm feeling good though. Like I'm feeling like I can. Uh, Are you awake now? I can do about a 10 meter rope climb. I'm getting there. I'll take it. I'll take it. After this, we hope for 20. <laughs> All right, let's go. Last one. Down let's slowly. Do it. Eccentric loading. I'm feeling the quads now. I'm That's absolutely loving this. This is really cool. Look, control your landing. Right, Walk out forward. in your hands. Yep. Remember to activate your core and your glutes. Move this. Down slowly. Pick it up. Control that core, remember to breathe. One side, slowly Just back. Just excuse all my noises here. <laughs> you, are, you are excused. Back on the other side. So I want you to go back down. Okay. Put your arms out straight to the side and lift your feet and your hands off the ground. Oh, snap. So you get Posterior that back chain. working, nice. shoulders working. Oh, back wow. down to push up. Back up, touch your knees again. So you do a whole circuit. In reverse. In reverse, back to standing. We walk it back to the squat. Control it all the way. Back to standing. And that's full circuit. <laughs> we did it, well man. Done, brother. Oh, I'm feeling like a champion. I love the fact that you included that posterior chain as well. That is literally like a full body yeah. workout. And we, it was so simple. Literally five minutes. Mzanzi, you guys at home, I hope you enjoyed this. Of course, let us know on our social media channels what you thought of the Slayer, <laughs> the world record breaking rope climbing champion. Of course, he looks like a ninja right now. I do. Man. I feel like a ninja. <laughs> Thank you for joining us in the studio. Rest of Mzanzi loves you too. And guys, oh, I think we've worked ourselves up an appetite indeed. <laughs> South Africa, we're calling on you to vote for your South African classics for a chance to win weekly classic prizes. Vote for your favorite music, fashion, dance moves and more by dialing star 120 star 2676 hash for your chance to win. Made with love by Clover. Oh, we are winning right now. Question, is it even the festive season without the timeless taste of Clover Classic Custard? No, sir, it isn't. We think not. And though it may officially be trifle season, we know we've got something a little different for you right now to celebrate with this Christmas. It is a very special treat, a custard and berry fridge tart. And the Clover Classic range caters for every kind of consumer with Clover Classic spread. We've got mayo, we've got dairy snacks, and of course the delicious hero for today, our custard, so versatile to use. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm even getting a lump in my throat. So I'm getting so emotional. Um, we're going to be doing our Clover Classic Custard Tart with a little bit of a twist this morning. Something truly delicious. Herman is back to whip up the deliciousness. See, yes. this is a tart befitting your pin. Man. Yes, fit for a queen. You know? Yes, yeah. completely, man. I love it. Okay, so what's going on here? So when it comes to <coughs> festive tarts, the thing is that there's a lot of people who, who don't really like, like to spend a lot of time in the kitchen. So for let's sure. be honest. We must socialize. Yes. Yeah. So we start off with normal, you know, the coconut biscuit base. In Afrikaans, we call it crimpoline cuisine. It's like it's not really a base, but it's really delicious. Okay. Then we add our... Oh, our oh, the custard goes into the base. No, no, that's not the base. This is our uh, clover classic uh, spread. Spread. Ah, yes. I was about to say. Okay. Just to like moisten up those biscuits and get it all Help together. Help it bind. Okay. Yes. Obviously, also what you can do, you can either add... Like, I like to add like beautiful chopped pistachios or maybe beautiful Ooh, chopped pecan nuts into nice. our base. Nice. You know, to make it more festive. Think of all those classic trifle ingredients, but use them in a different way. I love that. Okay, like to mix it up. 
Then you get a, a like a, a blue space tart pan, pan. You can obviously use any sort of bowl you got in your house or anything you like to use. Just just requires the shape that you need. Yes, um, can I can I help you with anything? I, I feel like I'm, you can. I'm ready to do something. You can for maybe you. start to cream that for us. Okay. And then we're just going to flatten this. I'm going to add some icing sugar in there for you. So some cream Ooh. cheese, some icing sugar. Lovely. You just press this down. There you go. And now we, into our cream cheese, you can also add a bit of vanilla extract. Again, you can use this. Like I, I like to use things like rose water, beautiful orange Ooh. blossom. You know, think of all those classic Christmas flavors. Also, yeah, I think the rose water will kill. Yes, yeah, so a bit of lemon zest would be great. Okay. And then our Clover Classic Custard, which is delicious. For me, that is what trifle is all about. So yeah, add. completely. And I quite like this because it's a, a little less indulgent. It's still yes. going to be delicious and it's still going to be sweet and it's going to be a lovely, I think, way to round off a festive yes. feast. Um, but not quite as rich as yes. a, a trifle. Of course you can add, I mean, you can add beautiful grated chocolate in here if you want to. Maybe Ooh. a little cocoa powder just to change the flavor. We're keeping it with the vanilla. How's that doing? Okay. And then to make it more festive, you can just cream it up like a nice to make remove all those lumps. I'm trying, man. I'm trying. You're very good in the kitchen. Thank you. I I learned from the best. <laughs> I learned from the best. <laughs> gonna add some yeah, berries. That's coming together quite Lovely. nicely. And just mix Yummy. it up. Obviously, you want to break that berry to get that little bit of uh, redness going in there. Get the berry flavor. The flavors through, and I suppose that's quite nice because you're going to have the, the kind of acidity, the, yes. the tartness of the berries cutting through, yeah. the rich creamy. Obviously, you can use whatever berries you have in your fridge. If you want to add, like, you can put some cherries, add some cherries in there, you know, again, keeping with the nasty. Okay. Okay, we've got our base here. Is that all right for now? I'm going to cream it a little bit more. Okay, do it. Show me how it's done. Faster, you know. There we go. Some of that lumps up. Yeah, I just wasn't brave enough. No. I wasn't brave enough. You to must just be go fearless in the kitchen. Fearless mode. <laughs> Okay. okay, and you really are breaking up those berries. I love that. Yeah. It's got a beautiful, it's starting to look festive actually with those splashes of color yeah. through it. The magic about desserts for festive seasons, you want to create those special moments like little pockets of berries inside mm. you. So each of your guests, whoever's by your table, every finds bite some, offers every you bite. a different delight. Yes. So we put that in our base. Lovely. And just spread it. Obviously, this is a, like, a, like a beautiful th thin. You can obviously make more filling if you want. Even in my house, I'm going to make a squirt <laughs> that. <laughs> We're not making a cheesecake. No. Okay, we're making a tart. A little bit of after after Christmas lunch. And then we put it in the fridge, we let it set. Like, I don't know, an hour or two. Okay. Take it out and you can decorate it with more fresh berries, some chocolate, some more nuts, a mm -hmm. bit of edible gold dust. Up to you. Yeah, gold dust seems to be so hot right now. It's yeah. like ideal for, for Christmas. Look, I put gold dust any time of year, not even for Christmas. <laughs> but Christmas, You're I putting gold dust on your roasts. Everything. On the braai. Yes. Everything's getting a little bit of a dusting. Absolutely yeah. beautiful. I love the fact that it's so simple and it's easy. It's fresh. There's a, a beautiful, indulgent element yeah. to it, but it's not too much. And I think this, you know, as everyone's settling down, after they've feasted, just to yes. round off a beautiful festive day. And of course, this very, is perfect. very nostalgic with the flavor of custard. I mean, that is what Completely. my house, that's what custard means oh, to Christmas it's day. It's beautiful, but. man. Dust it with gold and give it to the family. We love it. Another thing to celebrate is that, of course, you guys stand the chance of winning some awesome classic prizes with Clover Classic by simply voting for your favorite South African classics. What's it going to be? To enter, you have to dial star 120 star two 2676 hash to vote in this week's poll. You also stand the chance to participate in the last round of That's Classic a Game on our sister show, Afternoon Express. So get entering for your last chance to win some great prizes. If you missed any of the steps to this delicious recipe, take a look at this.
Delicious, delicious. Okay, so it's been a fine and festive morning so far. Getting into the yes of the upcoming first annual This Is The Moment Ding online concert. And now we're going to hear the track that is the namesake of the show, uh, taking to the stage to perform uh, it with his three-piece band. Here is Shadley Schroeder with This Is The Moment. <laughs> This is the moment, this is the day When I send all my doubts and demons on their way Every endeavor, I've made it ever Is coming into play it's here and now, today This is the moment This is the time When the momentum and the moment are in round Give me this moment This precious moment I'll gather up my past And make some sense at last This is the moment When all I've done All of the dreaming, scheming and screaming Become one This is the day This is the moment, the greatest 
Welcome back. Time to have a little bit of fun. Probably the most anticipated game of the year in a year that has seen some pretty awesome games. Cyberpunk 2077 has finally been released with mixed reviews, it seems. Grant Hines is here to put his head on a block and probably <laughs> get every gamer out there coming after him because this is a contentious one. I love it because you play Justin Timberlake in it. No, you don't. No, you don't. But, well, no, it who looks, said that? It looks like Justin Timberlake. The guy looks like Justin Timberlake. I, I'm not even a gamer and this really I got wind of this I love the visuals I love the cyberpunk vibe that genre I'm really loving this this is a big game right it's huge this okay is the, so this is it the biggest this is probably the biggest most contentious game that has come out in 2020 for uh, a couple of reasons firstly this was announced in 2012 so we've been waiting for this game for a very long time mm. Mm. And uh, you know what happens when you wait for a game by a developer that a lot of people love? Everybody's excited to see and wants it to succeed. You know, you know, nobody wants a game to fail. For sure, but there is massive expectation and a huge amount of resource gets pumped into something like this. Open world, role-playing game. Where does this fit into the, the ecosystem? Okay, so this is, uh, uh, yeah, as you said, open world role-playing game. We can walk around this entire city. This is called Night City and uh, it's set in, have you, if you've ever watched Blade Runner and games yeah, like it, see. You get that vibe from it. So it's uh, it's this this aesthetic in this genre, cyberpunk, is literally what you see in Blade Runner. That yeah. art direction, that universe, and that world. Which is, um, which so, is cool. a, so So what kind of cool, characterizes man. it is that you get cybernetics. You can replace your arms with robot robotic arms. It's like it's a, a dystopian version of the future where corporations have taken over and uh, technology is kind of uh, backyard and CD and that you can apply to yourself. Which is kind of interesting for a role playing game because. Because you can now build yourself, because that's Imagine what role-playing games are around about. Do, how you can upgrade yourself. yourself. You can upgrade yourself as a good boss. So it's just really cool. And it's got a really cool story. The developer, CD Projekt Red, made The Witcher. So a lot of people ah. who have played this game obviously have played The Witcher and have ex great, and rightfully so, huge expectations of Cyberpunk. But this is where the controversy comes in. The PlayStation versions of PlayStation 4 and Xbox One versions of the game are terrible. They are absolutely terrible. They are completely so? they are completely broken. The graphics don't work. It looks like they rushed the game to buggy, get it out. Buggy, buggy, buggy. They okay. are buggy as you know, as, as they can be. Like it's it, like there are videos online if you want to see funny game videos where the, the game is just broken. Go check out buggy cyberpunk uh, things. But uh, we, I've been playing on Xbox Series X and, and PC. It's and, fine. And it's fine. It's fine, and, okay. And it looks, as you can see, it looks absolutely spectacular. I'm, I'm sitting around the city, just living in this world, and people love games like this, like Maybe GTA. they just did a deal with the game, with the, the console developers, and they were like, okay, we'll, we'll help people get a new console. Okay, so I've set the scene here. What is the actual storyline, and is it something that you can get invested in? Which yes, is okay, great. So the storyline is, uh, okay, I'm excited about it. The storyline is a character you play as V. Um, and uh, Justin there's Timberlake. A, Justin Timberlake. You could be either woman or, or, or a man. And one of the most exciting parts about it is that there's a character called Johnny Silverhands, who is a Ooh. character inside the cyberpunk universe uh, from the board games. But he is played by Keanu Reeves. Oh the, my and goodness. he's an integral can, character can in the game. Can that guy not get any cooler? Actually, he is so cool he in is this game. He's the coolest guy. Like, he really is so cool in this game. And you just feel like he's your best friend. Pretty much, essentially, oh. without giving too much away, he's your best friend in this game, and Keanu Reeves plays Keanu Reeves, which is really exciting, and he interacts with you, which, like, in your head, which is super rad, and I highly, I highly recommend just playing the game purely for Keanu Reeves. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much the story, and I don't want to give too much away. Uh, no, I can, it, I can hear that on. you're being quite obtuse about about where it is, and you're trying to avoid because obviously this is a grown-up game. Eh? This is this is for slightly older. Yeah, this players, is a, yeah. Uh, this is a game for adults. It is it has mature themes in it, uh, just like if you watched Blade Runner back in yeah. you know, uh, like the what 80s. <laughs> like it's you know that that movie is not for kids, um, and and which is really cool. It's great that games are opening themselves up to explore adult themes using this medium of gaming that we can sit down and play. But just so that the parents know um, uh, that's where it's at. Safety and, and, first, yeah. And also, I don't think kids would actually really enjoy this. I think they sure. might find it a little bit boring. But for adults like ourselves who want to get into uh, a meaningful story that wants to tell, uh, make commentary about corporations and stuff, it's really exciting. I, I've got to ask: Are the decisions you make meaningful or random in an open world universe <laughs> like this? Yeah. Y yes and no. I feel like they could have put more emphasis into meaningful decisions. They've done that with The Witcher. And uh, I think they kind of didn't quite do it here. 
Is that why you're not crossing the road? Like, if no, I cross the road, then, then the thing's going to come and the world is going to collapse. And I think if it had done that, I would have given it a better review. But as it stands right now, I'm probably going to give this an 8 out of 10. I know a lot of people wanted to get wow. this a full 10 out of 10. 8 out of 10 is pretty good, man. It's still a good game. I just think if they had spent a little bit Can you give us, time, can you, without giving anything away, can you do something without? Um, I just, I, I wanted you guys to experience the city. And I, I didn't want to like start a mission that would spoil it for you. Okay. Because I know a lot okay, of people no, do. Game, and this game. is how exciting and beautiful the game looks. This is it, really like showing off the It does look absolutely amazing. It sounds amazing. The visuals look great. And you say it's all good on the latest iterations of the gaming console. So if you had a buggy version before, give it another go. Looks absolutely awesome and really my cup of tea, man. I love the cyberpunk genre. And I love the, the way that it forces you to think about humanity and the future and what's happening. And an 8 out of 10. It's good That's game. Pretty good. It's a very good That's game. It's pretty good, man. Just get it on next gen. Okay. Done. Uh, right now, it's time to immerse yourself in a completely different world like the boys on extra large cinema screens and get pulled into the sound and also the color in a way that just can't happen at home. It just doesn't get better than this. Right, Ralph? Exactly. It does indeed. <laughs> now, of course, I want to chat about this amazing woman. Wonder Woman, of course. I mean, what is there not to love about her? Right. It's, it's so amazing to see like a female representation in a superhero right now for, you know, young girls can look at. It's just, it's just beautiful to see. I couldn't agree with you more. I think super strength, teleportation, empathy, that's much of the skills that every woman that I've met in this world has. So let's check it out. <laughs> Your time will come, Diana. It will become all that you dream of and more. What needs you? Oh my gosh. Nothing good is born from lies. And greatness is not what you think. Wow. Sitting on my edge for that. Wow. Listen, if you haven't managed to book your spot to see the much-anticipated Wonder Woman 1984, which released in new Metro Cinemas yesterday, I mean, what are you waiting for? <laughs> Become part of the superhero adventure as a new era of wonder begins. This action-packed movie is also being shown, shown in new Metro's larger-than-life extreme theatres at select cinema complexes. Now, to upgrade your cin cinema experience even further with some of SA's largest cinema screens, 4K Ultra HD laser projection and Dolby Atmos sound, it is going to bring all the vibes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Now, yeah. new Metro cinemas are open seven days a week with all the required COVID-19 precautions in place to keep you safe, of course. So now all you got to do is book your tickets for Wonder Woman 1984. And you can visit newmetro.co.za or call 0861 246 362 and get your tickets. Yes, don't forget New Metro and Express are also giving one lucky viewer a chance to win themselves a VIP card, which will give you access to movies for a full year valued at 15,000 Rand. Yes, you heard me right. All you have to do is reply to the competition post on our Express show Facebook or Twitter page and tell us what your favorite new Metro memory is. Don't forget to include that hashtag Expresso New Metro in your answer. The competition closes on Saturday the 19th of December at midnight and those T's and C's apply and can be found on ExpressoShow.com. Well, guess what? See you at, at the, the movies.
Join the Insider Essay Sunday at 12 midday as we explore the Drakensberg from a farmhouse retreat with Uzalo stars Nelisa Umtunu and Masoja Msiza. Newly crowned Miss Soweto Tobile Stain takes us home to meet her family. And we celebrate Master KG and other winners at the SA Style Awards. That's the Insider Essay, Sunday at 12 midday, only on SABC3. It's my feel-good breakfast show. Welcome back, everybody. This is your Feel Good Breakfast Show right here on SABC3. Happy Thursday to all of you. And also, thank you so much for connecting with us on uh, our Facebook and also on our YouTube channel. Yes. Speaking about YouTube, we have quite a few comments coming through from you guys, sending all the love for us on this Thursday. And we're going to read them out before we get into this news headlines. How cool is it that we can reach out to people all over the world on so many platforms? I, I think it's awesome. So, first up, we've got Peter Nielsen. It's cameraman Peter. <laughs> I'm at home. This guy, he's trolling us here. That's cute. Pete's in there at the camera right now. I'm looking at him. Yeah, this guy. Must be nice. He's living his best life. I see you. <laughs> then we've got Evron Mayer coming through all the way from Peru, Cape Town, South Africa. Evron, thank you so much for tuning in, my friend. I hope we are providing you a lot of laugh, smile, and of course, magic. Yeah, we have Power Tea Gaming saying, my name is Cameron and I'm tuning in from Eastgate. Well, shout out to you, Cameron, from Eastgate. Eastgate, what's Another up? one from Michelle Jonas saying, good morning, guys. Looking good as always. And check this out, Expresso Show actually commented say, saying thank you so much. So that's what I love about our social media team is that they're always engaging, they're also responding. So you're not just out there sending messages and we no one's responding. We are here, we actually yeah. hear it and actually <laughs> responding to you. And now we've got someone who I think has definitely jacked somebody else's account because the name is Nondu Kandaba, but it actually says, I'm Slendile Zulu and I'm from Kwanongoma in KZN. So shout out to KZN. Beautiful, beautiful town, full of adventure. You are so, so blessed to be there. But thank you for tuning in, of course. And last but not least, we've got Sue Hopkins coming from a cloudy Cape Town. Sue, thank you so much for tuning in. We keep absolutely love you. Keep it going. Keep yes. it flowing. We absolutely love it. But of course, right now, we are down to the final hour. Well, three minutes before the top of the hour, it's time to get into those news headlines one last time. <laughs> Thank you very much, team. Let's take a look at those 8 o'clock headlines here on your Feel Good Breakfast show. We start off nationally. The Hawks arrested a foreign citizen during a raid on a farm in Limpopo and confiscated more than 12 million rands worth of tick when they discovered a drug factory. Hawks spokesperson Matimba Maluleka says that their actions on the farm at Royberg, north of Bella Bella, came after information was received from the police's crime intelligence unit. Maluleka said a 34-year-old Zimbabwean who was in charge of the factory was arrested he has already appeared in the Tabazimbi Magistrates Court and remains in custody. President Cyril Ramaphosa says true reconciliation is only possible if the country is committed to tackling the challenges that most South Africans have to live with. In his virtual Day of Reconciliation message yesterday, the president said South Africans must work together to improve social cohesion. He also appealed to landowners and businesses to support government policies of economic and land reform and said councillors, mayors and ministers should rededicate themselves to the people and respect their resources. In international news, several states in northern Nigeria have ordered all schools to close following last week's kidnapping of more than 300 pupils in the Katsina state. Nigerian authorities say that they have been in contact with the kidnappers, but there are no details of the discussions. Meanwhile, UN chief Antonio Guterres has called for the immediate and unconditional release of the children. Guterres also reaffirmed the UN support to Nigeria in its fight against terrorism. The Islamist militant group Boko Haram has said it was behind the raid. A team of 10 international scientists will travel to the Chinese city of Wuhan next month to investigate the origins of COVID-19. The World Health Organization has said the virus is thought to have come from a so-called wet in the city selling animals. One of the scientists said that the mission was not about finding a guilty country, but rather about trying to understand what happened and then see if, based on those uh, uh, data, similar risks can be reduced in the future. And next, interesting research from Down Under on kangaroos. Kangaroos can intentionally uh, communicate with people and ask for help, a study has found. The challenges in, uh, uh, rather this challenges the idea that only domesticated animals display this type of behavior. Dr. Alan McElliott uh, of the City University of Hong Kong study wished to determine whether kangaroos could intentionally communicate with humans. Dr. Alexandra Green of 
Sydney University arranged for 16 kangaroos from various wildlife parks down under, uh, which were used to people uh, to be available. Six uh, training trials with food and an open box on the ground were conducted. In a seventh one, however, the box was firmly closed, and after unsuccessfully using their claws and snouts to reach the food, they started to glance at the experimenters and then back at the food. Next, they were sniffing at and even scratching the experimenters, sort of asking for help. Mac Elligott and Green were pleasantly shocked by this as it challenges the idea that only domesticated animals would act in this way. So next time you see an Aussie chatting to his kangaroo, remember it's a cognitive conversation taking place. That's where we leave it for now. Here's Graham with a look at sports. Thanks so much, Tubbs. Let's wrap up uh, our cricketing headlines first, picking up where we left off yesterday in the CSA four-day challenge. John John Smuts took three for 47 to guide the Warriors to an 80-run victory over the Cape Cobras down at St. George's Park in Port Elizabeth yesterday. Then at the Mungwang Oval in Bloemfontein, Lions opener Dominic Hendricks put up a brave fight. It's the last man out on 98, but the Knights were ultimately able to cruise to a straightforward nine-wicket victory. So now as we shift to the international focus, 19 scalps in five outings in this domestic season have earned Knights seam bowler Michael Pretorius a maiden call-up to the Proteus Test squad that ahead of their Test series against Sri Lanka starting on Boxing Day. Under the mentorship of his coach Proteus pace legend Alan Donald, 25-year-old really has had a superb domestic season, meaning that he will join the rest of the squad in Pretoria on Saturday and may well be needed, in fact, as Kajiso Rabada and Dwayne Pretorius have not yet been medically cleared to participate in the tour. Then on to football in our midweek football Footballing action here at home, Benny's tenure at Amazulu started with a trial by fire as Golden Arrows maintained their unbeaten start to the PSL season with that 2 0 win in the KZN Derby. You'll look to get on track as they travel to Chipper on Sunday. Speaking of which, Proteas nestled nicely into third, or Pirates rather, into third on the log in the PSL table with their win over Chipper last night. That while Bloom Celtic are left propping up the top half of the table after their 2 0 victory over Barocca. And the PSL action will concentrate continue on Friday night with one game before a full weekend roster. Then staying with football, highlighting the turnaround in the Premier League this season, Southampton, currently in fourth on the table, played a 15th place to Arsenal. Now, despite being reduced to 10 men, Arteta, I think, can take some solace in the fact that his frontman, Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang, did find the mark again, cancelling out Theo Walcott's first half goal against his former club. Then Leicester and Everton, they provided an intriguing start to the compelling lineup of matches last night. Richardson and Mason Holgate ensuring that Everton got the win and edged to within one point of the Foxes. The evening came to an engrossing climax with number one verse two. It was Salah getting the deflection to open the account for the defending champions before Sun got in behind to equalize for Spurs. Then it would be decided in the end by Roberto Firmino in the 90th minute a header off a corner to ensure that Jose Marino still doesn't have the win over Jurgen Klopp at Anfield. And then of course Tottenham and Liverpool trade places at the summit of the table. That's a wrap of your sport for this morning. Let's take another look at the weather. Before we get into those weather conditions, we ask you to share how your sunrise looks from your part of the country by posting a photo on Expresso's Facebook page. Now, Shaheen Peterson pulled through and sent the stunning garden view from Hermanus. Another one from Nick Lombard's timing for this photo is impeccable. The morning sunrise with a flock of sheep in the Northern Cape. Uh, our social media guru, Mike Wright, pulled through with a gorgeous sunrise from outside our very own studios. And then Yulin Pulse van Steer captured his morning sunrise from the friendly city of Port Elizabeth. Now, PE can expect warm conditions also reaching a maximum of 24 degrees. Of course, you too can contribute to our weather report by capturing your sunrise and posting it on our Facebook page. And now, in some news as well, uh, total losses from natural disasters so far this year are estimated at $170 billion, up 25% from 2019, insurance giant Swiss Re said yesterday. Swiss Re said 2020 was characterized 
by major and unusual high numbers of natural catastrophes such as storms, wildfires and hurricanes. The insur insurer said 2020 was the fifth costliest year for the industry since 1970. Disasters in the United States, including severe thunderstorms, tornadoes, floods and wildfires, accounted for 70% of the $76 billion which went to cover losses in natural catastrophes. Swiss re cautioned that climate change was expected to aggravate such perils, driving more extreme weather events such as wildfires and floods. Now it's time to have a final look at the temperatures for South Africa. We'll kick it off with Polokwane with your low of 17 and a high of 21. Umbumbela ranges from 20 to 24. If you're out and about in Pretoria, your minimum is 15 with a maximum of 25. Johannesburg, 14, peaking at 24. Mahi Keng, for you, it is a low of 16 and a high of 27. If you do find yourself in Clarkstorp today as well, your low is 17 with a high of 31. Kimberley, 1934. Bloemfontein, 1631. Richards Bay ranges from 21 to 30 today. And then Peter Maritzburg follows shortly with a low of 17 and a high of 28. South Africa's playground Durban comes through with a low of 22 and a high of 27. Mtata ranges from 17 to 27 as well. East London, 1920. 24. For you, Craddock, it is 1432. The friendly city of Port Elizabeth P, you ranges from 18 to 24. If you do find yourself in George today, it is coming through with a minimum of 16 and a high of 22. The mother city, Cape Town, 1624. Worcester, 1331. Sutherland, 1030. And then last but definitely not least, Uppington coming through with a minimum of 21 and a maximum of 39. As always, keep it locked right here on your Feel Good Break for show. <laughs> And the Feel Good continues here on your Feel Good Breakfast show. The music doesn't stop ahead, of course, of a big show. Die Kapse Deng. And here they are. They still are here on your show, on your Feel Good Breakfast show with the comments flowing in on our Facebook page uh, of all of the love that you have been sharing for the guys. This time around, they've taken us back a little bit. If you are into your old school jams, you're going to love this one because they're here performing an old school ballad medley. Take it away, gents. <laughs> Thank you. 
Wow, that Christmas spread is insane. And here's the thing, you can create it at home. Christmas is a time to create those happy little moments with friends and family. That's what it's all about. As well as with our friend, Abigail Donnelly, who is going out through the latest Taste magazine and sharing a few Christmas menu ideas that are easy to prepare. And they are showstoppers, baby. I say that because <laughs> I'm stopping the show right now. Looking at those. Yes, this wow. is amazing. So we'll talk about taste just now. So it's gammon. It's gammon, gammon, gammon. Man. Woolies I have just put onto the shelves. We call it the big boy internally, but don't go and ask the store manager for the big boy because he won't know what you're talking about. But he will now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he, absolutely. So this is the whole gammon. Goodness. Um, I was going to say, because you get gammon and then you get the yes, big boy. Yes, exactly. Right. So this is the beech wood smoked. It's already been cooked for you. Oh. So we're getting a lot of queries and people say, can they buy them now? You know, but I would suggest go buy it now. If you feel comfortable, freeze it, but it will last until Christmas Day in, okay. in the back of your fridge. Really? Because it's it's okay. been smoked and it's been cooked already. So it's already been so, cured. So okay. go and get it now and make sure that's like kind of and done. And do it because yes. it's closer to Christmas. Yeah, and all we've Don't kind go. of done, all behind scene fairies have done, is glazed it. So what you want to do, you could serve it uh, cold which obviously is quite nice for that's South for Africa. Boxing, no, that's for Boxing Day for cricket. Boxing, that's yeah, I suppose, so all your cricket. sandwiches, on, yes. Mm. So this one has just been, I would wrap it in tin foil, and just to keep a bit of moisture in, just add a little bit of water or apple juice, close it up tightly and put it in the oven at 180 for about 45 minutes. Okay. So that it steams a little bit. Okay. Yeah, and then take it open, and then you've got your glazers. Now, Woolworths have got you covered this year for glazers. They've got fresh glazers, they've got shimmer glazers, which is also great on your desserts. Shimmer well. is a big thing this Christmas, it's I'm realising. It's eh? huge. And then this beautiful, there's a port and cram, uh, cherry. This is cherry and brandy. And then there's a cranberry and port, which is also amazing to go with your cheeses. Oh, and my goodness. Unbelievable Christmas maybe present that's, Maybe that edges it out jars. in front because yeah. it's, the selection makes it impossible to choose. Because exactly. Because so much. And then, sorry, I'm just going off. And then these are, you'll find these Ooh. in the fridge. The others are on the shelf in the dry ingredients. These are in the fridge. There are two. And this is really beautiful tubs of stickiness. Oh, so, my goodness. Yeah, so that's great. So that's what Beautiful. we've done. And it's glazed in the oven until it's like really nice and um, golden brown and sticky and yummy. Mm. And then we're just going to... Oh. Beautifully carve it. Look at that. And you'll see beautiful layers of the fat of the of the Ooh, pork, which is beautiful. You want that. I oh, my it. And then word. Just, just, and I don't have a fork. And then the beautiful pinkness. It's succulent. It's so delicious. That is I hope beautiful. You guys can see and I it like there. the fact that you don't have to go through like the nine hours of prep time to get this going, that it's been pre cooked, it's been cured, it's been beach smoked, it's beautiful. Absolutely. And you get the full effect. And Wonderful. Then, and then, Graham, what I do is I love to embellish them because it is like add a little bit of sparkle You're for this all about time that, of the year. That, yeah. Yeah. Magazine cover look, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Although for this cover, we just did a beautiful maple and um, glacé cherries mm. and glazed uh, ginger, the little pots of ginger in store. And I just, we called it the stained glass gammon because it looked Get like stained that. glass yeah, because the shine sure. went through and everything. Get so that. these are beautiful blueberries. You can use cherries as well. And I did it last Christmas. It's kind of like my trademark, but it's Christmas only once a year, so and it's you're, fine. You're allowed to steal Oopsie. it. You're allowed and then just a little okay. bit of the shimmer dust. There's a gold one on the shelf in the baking aisle and a silver one. And so, edible. And ed edible. Absolutely okay. edible, Just yeah. You and you do, it goes a long How, way. Suddenly that becomes like so dramatic. Exactly. And then give it a, a give it a shake and they're like gold baubles. And oh, then you can wow. put them on your trifle. You can put it on your gammon. Um, I'm you going put to it on your face because <laughs> now we're going to have glitter <laughs> everywhere. I love the, the fact that all our guests leave because we've been using a lot of gold dust this, this have season. You? It's yeah, a thing. Yeah. It's a vibe. It is a thing, yeah. Um, and it's it's just, it, it adds drama and it, it turns your, it into a showstopper, which you want. When you, when you step out with your, your roast or go. your gammon, you want, you want your guests to be yeah, like, Yeah, exactly, ah. yeah, absolutely. What's going so on there? So there, this is a showstopper. So mm -hmm. I would suggest having this definitely with gammon or your turkey or roast chicken or whatever, or even if you're vegetarian, just for your veggie people as well. So it comes in a pack, it's cauliflower cheese. It's a cauliflower that you steam in the microwave. It's got some white sauce, bechamel sauce, and some beautiful herb crumbs. It's and gotta be, don't be serving no soggy cauli. It's gotta no. be crispy, Look crunchy, beautiful. Look how beautiful that is. Oh my goodness. Look, I'm gonna save this. You're gonna have oh, this no, for lunch. Oh no, just imagine that. Look. Those textures, that nuttiness, that beautiful flavor, balanced with the gammon. So beautiful. Oh my So delicious. Word. Cauliflower cheese, and we all love cauliflower cheese. And then Graham, the last yes. thing Can that I we're going to do is the mince pies. 
Look at that. Just look at oh, that. Oh, yeah. There we go. There's the stained glass. So there's lots of um, beautiful, Aww. simple recipes and tastes this year. It's all about, yeah, it's about the sharing and the caring. There's a lovely story I did on biscuits, homemade biscuits, mm. so that you can get the kids involved or you can take them to your guests as presents. Yeah, just like wrap really them up and put them in a little homemade thing and, kind oh, of vibe. Yeah. Okay, so can I help you with something? Can I yes, yeah. So uh, mm. obviously Chuckles is everywhere as well, and uh -huh. they're all in these beautiful gift containers that you can re use Reuse, for more chuckles yeah, as you must, uh, yeah. yeah so if you could roll some in gold okay because it's all the gold bauble scene and then i'm going to show you how to just pile these up so these are new to woolies you know woolies have got like a huge variety of of mince top, mince pies from the clement gold which they that's, that's their baby my, no that's the my favorite clement gold with a little crumble hands They've down got the pecan, my favorite pecan ones the almond ones luxury mince and new Look at these. You know millionaire shortbread? Get out. These Get are out of millionaire kitchen, shortbread <laughs> mince oh. pies. Layers of decadent dark chocolate, caramel mince meat, and a beautiful chocolate crumbly pastry. Oh, so look, look at that. Look how beautiful oh, you that know looks. To do that. Look so how beautiful that looks. If you can just looks. help me, just pile these on. Okay. And then I also, I forgot to say, I also love a little ribbon. So as I've served this gammon, whoops, there goes the balls, is just to like tie a little bit of ribbon, um, ribbon sparkle, just make it festive. There we go, and then just pile those up. And you can do a mixture of them. But I just want to show you, Graham, look at this. Just oh, look inside. Oh no, that. get out. Look at that. So it's proper mm. millionaires. It's got the it's caramel and exactly. the and a chocolate. Oh, that's yeah. crazy. So there's a packet. Will for this you. madness never end? <laughs> um, that's absolutely beautiful. So yeah, beautiful. and then just pile them up. These are yeah, you know, even just to wrap a little ribbon around a, a packet of these. Take them to your guests. I, w um, I wish we had more time to go through the entire magazine um, while I cover oh. myself in gold dust. You get yourself a taste <laughs> magazine Christmas edition. Um, you guys did such an amazing job with the photos oh, absolutely great. beautiful and well done and you. woolies you've you've taken christmas to a whole different level so thank you so much for that wow yeah. showstoppers cool <laughs> hey Some black well snap black cat peanut butter cool chagalaga and the quiz challenge <laughs> buy any four participating products and stand a chance to win 10,000 rand daily add a twist to everyday meals December, one Nespresso viewer, one chance to win access to movies for a year 
to the value of 15,000 Rand. <laughs> Going to the movies will never be the same. This will make one epic competition. <laughs> Watch Expresso weekdays to see how you can enter. Competition closes 19 December. T's and C's apply. See you at the movie. Yes! <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> it's my feel good breakfast show. Uh, welcome back. Of course, you're still locked in at your Feel Good Breakfast Show and the Game Awards 2020, which is one of the biggest events in gaming, and it's said to be akin to the Academy Awards. Yes, that's right. So game developers, companies, designers, sound engineers, and even actors compete for the winning titles in each category. And of course, our resident specialist, Grant Hines. Grant Hines takes us through the video of who won this year. Man, tell us, feed us, what is happening? Who are the nominees, even? Okay, so, let's, so the nominees were a great collection of what pretty much was the best games yeah. of the year. Um, there are a couple that I probably would have included. I was going to say, it's probably very debatable even getting those nominees because everybody has a personal attachment to their favorite game it's as true. well. It's true. Like, I, I, I really would have liked to see Miles Morales up there. Oh, it's did it not make it? Good, okay. It wasn't nominated. Oh, or at least it wasn't nominated for Game of the Year. Yeah. But I understand why it was kind of omitted because it was, you know, it's a Spider-Man game. It's kind of off the back of the last Spider-Man and they came yeah. out the year before. So it's kind of too similar. But I still think it's an excellent game. Game. So it became this, this, you know, this whole thing. But I actually agree with the with the winner and uh, the nominations. I'll go through with you what I know and what I've played and uh, what I think about okay. them. And they're a great list if you guys are at home are looking for games to get uh, gaming friends for Christmas or family members. This is a great list to at least. You know, sound like you know what you're talking about, which is uh, <laughs> All right, cool. Really so you're going to take us to the games, of course. Yeah. And maybe you can tell us a little bit as well, what are they looking for when it comes to that best game? What are those sort of categories? What ticks the boxes? Look, it's a, it's about, like, originality. Yeah. Um, it's about, like, the quality of the production. And that's just overall. Like, narrative became a big part of it, although narrative was a second uh, yes. uh, reward. Uh, award. A narrative became a big part of this uh, uh, ending, which I, I, I'm not 100% sure is the right thing to do because... There are a lot of is games game? that are great games that don't movie? have stories. Right? Is it a story? What is it like? Yeah, um, so th there are a lot of different factors that like build into the uh, a culmination of what it makes a really, really good game. Right. It's kind of like what you would do in film, like great cinematography, great direction, great yes, script writing. Yes. Like, what is the accumulation of the best of that and what can we get? The right. first game uh, that was nominated was Doom Eternal, Doom, which I highly yeah. recommend. It is, uh, if you are into like super athletic like shooters, Doom Eternal is a great game to play. Um, and it it is highly awarded. Obviously, Doom was one of the first first person shooters of all time. Classic. It's a classic. How can you not and what know they've been it? doing lately, Bethesda, the, the developers, have really pushed it to this really exciting space. Okay. So I really enjoy Doom, and it runs really well on lower end uh, machines and rigs. So, so you get all the, the model can rate. actually handle it quite well. Yeah, and you get this really high frame rate, high impact uh, gameplay. The next one is: Did you ever play Final Fantasy? I love Final Fantasy. Did, did you, you ever play Final travel? Fantasy VII? I don't think I got that far. I don't think I must have got like four or five. Only. Okay, so they're remaking Final Fantasy VII, okay. which is a fan favorite yeah. amongst Final Fantasy heads. I am not a Final Fantasy head. What I'm you could be get like with lost you. in Final they're, Fantasy? With I days. had friends at school going, "You have to play this," and I was like, "I'm playing Metal Gear at the moment." Just okay. like, like I was, yeah. Um, I was a Hideo Kojima head at that stage, yes. and I was like, I didn't have time. I was also studying for my exams, well, so I didn't sorry. have time for Final Fantasy. <laughs> but people are super excited about a Final Fantasy game, which which, uh, you know, big ups to them. They've got something that's really cool. The next game is a game called Ghost of Tsushima. Now, it's this open world uh, RPG based in Japan, which is really, like, really cool. Really great art direction, really great aesthetic. Um, I highly recommend it. The story is incredible as well. Uh, the characters you might not particularly connect with. Then the next game is a game called Hades. Hades. Yeah, Hades is, is kind of like, a, it's a... Uh, it's a I forgot the name, but it's a game where you 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 die and respawn again, okay, uh, like okay. a like a dungeon, um, kind of like a dungeon crawler, but not really that. 
I forgot the name, damn it. It's a roguelike dungeon crawler, that's what it is. Ah, okay, uh, okay. Which is really cool. And then uh, the game of the year was yeah. The Last of Us Part Two. So was that the winner? That the was Last the winner. Last of Us Part Two. And that's like a very narrative rich game, I would imagine. Very right? narrative, yes. very high production, incredible storytelling, very brave storytelling as well. I, I, I thoroughly liked what they did. I liked the whole idea that you don't necessarily like any of the characters. Yes. And I, that's what I want from a zombie uh, experience. And for a game to play a character or protagonist that you didn't like, like is uh, quite uh, quite cool and plus yeah. everything i mean naughty dog whatever they make i'm just like wow incredible oh uh, well blessings of course man thank you so much and for everybody at home of course those top five games or the top games that made the list are definitely ones that you want to play this season of course if you haven't already and that game of the year coming through from grand Heinz. thank you for that man i think uh, there's a, a shopping list emerging from this alone there's definitely a shopping <laughs> so, list let us know on social media under you... my tree yes yes, yes. <laughs> right well let us know of course the social media what your favorite game of the year was but let's Carry on with the magic. <laughs> oh, thank you so much, Jens. Now, whether you're a last minute Christmas shopping type of person or simply spoiling yourself, we reached out to you all on our social media to find out what tech gadgets are on your wish list this festive season. And people have gone wild in terms of what they're looking for. I mean, there's so much this year that's come out that people want. people want. And uh, here are some of those popular items that you guys want to get your hands on. Um, we got a comment here from uh, Lucia Lulu, uh, who says, good morning, I would like to have a laptop and a printer so that I can do my assignments for 2021. Yeah, yes, yes. I feel yes. you. Let's see. Uh, Who's next? The next one is from oh my God, Janie. Uh, Janie saying a new laptop for my photography. Yeah. Hashtag wheelchair photographer. I love it. Merry Christmas. Go and search that. Love that. I love that. And then we've got uh, Sandra Mangobo Khatebe saying, I would love to have a camera so that I'll be able to capture all this year's Christmas memories. Oh, yes. Make those memories, but also do capture those memories. Hashtag. Yeah, Christmas have them show. down. And then we've got um, Abraham weighing in a tablet for my son. Since mm -hmm. lockdown, I've been struggling to get one due to financial reasons. Study. I think a lot of people feeling Love you there, it. my friend. Well, if you're looking to buy a new piece of tech, then check out Nedbank's new super app called Avo. It's available to everyone and is brilliant. This app connects to all the major outlets and allows you to shop some great deals all in one place. Perfect for the best, uh, for those last minute shoppers like us generally. Uh, if you want to avoid the stores this festive season, this is great as well. So let me show you some of those deals. deals. I'm going to go yeah, into the, um, the app itself mm. and and the cool that thing is they categorize everything so that you can kind of see what you want. Uh, I'm going to go also into shopping. Are you also on the app, by the way? Yeah. Are you also there? Yeah, I'm going to go, I'm actually going to, not going to check. I'm going to go see what special deals there are. Uh -huh. um, how cool is that? So uh, we were just talking about Spider-Man Miles Morales. You can get it on a special <laughs> deal. Um, there's some nice microwaves. Okay, that's just gone out of stock. You see, that's why you've got to be quick, man, for the really, really good deals. And the nice thing is that you are able to see if something's gone out of stock as well so you're not missioning all the way to the shop and then finding that thing you're looking for isn't even there games are big man mm -hmm. games are big everybody wants games yeah. consoles are looking good so it seems Sound to me bar. like you're leaning towards like games and yeah consoles. but tech is tech is clearly what people are wanting there. there's yeah. some great deals on tvs mm. guys <laughs> Wow, Samsung 43-inch UHD. Oh, yeah. That is a really good price. Okay, that's um, nice. Really, really, really nice deal. Yeah, that. you can get yourself anything, man. That's the thing. You can shop just love about that. anything on the Avo app. I mean, look, you can move from shopping for uh, the latest tech gadgets to actually finding an actual plumber. You can get groceries there as well. Clothing and homeware this festive season. And now the Netbank Avo app has an incredible selection of items from all major outlets. And it will allow you to purchase what you need in order to uh, make sure that you are good to go you're in smiling. one go. You're, you're smiling. smiling. Mm, uh, it really is. simple. Yeah, it's a super app. So download yeah. it from your app store or your Nedbank Money yeah. app and just get shopping. Get those deals, man. Okay, me. I want something like that.
Welcome back, everybody. This is your Feel Good Breakfast Show right here on SABC3. Summer holidays are here, and with Woolworths, you can get your kids out to look their absolute best while living their best lives, of course. And our fashion and beauty editor, Knox Mouth, who is here to talk all about the must-have styles for every kid this season. Knox, so good to have you. It's good to be back. You have sorted the adults out, the yes. parents out, from, from sunglasses to toe. Now it's time <laughs> to take care of the kiddies. Absolutely. What are some of the trends we can expect for them? Well, I think for the kids, they are having the best time this summer from bright shorts to like graphic tees and really great statement pieces and such great swimwear from the boys to the girls things are looking festive and fun and so um, sustainable and like durable so we know our kids move around a lot so definitely things that have got utilitarian kind of abilities in the sense that they can work hard but always bright fun and playful colors are definitely 2010 trends we are not skipping on any of those trains what are some of the must-haves because i'm already seeing pieces here like take <laughs> that me you home love. take me home okay so let's maybe go with the swimmer what i've always loved about woolly swimmer especially for the kids is that obviously it has a great fun graphic approach to it but actually a lot of the material is made out of sustainable um wear and has an spf actually value in it so when they floric in the sun having fun being cute on their vacay they're also being protected by the sun which is great and then we have amazing sweats over here which are really great and have a lovely adjustable band for them. You know they move around a lot, so these are great. And then if we go to the one there, the little one there. No, I'm not ready to show this. I think this. it's time we show <laughs> Look at, the, I think. For the oh bambinos. <laughs> Just these beautiful rompers that have got great Stop prints it. on them and are also quite fashionable. I love the minimalist kind of element here, um, the white and the black, you know, we've been playing with polka dots a lot. So it's really lovely to see that also um, with the kids. And of course we've got, you know these amazing kind of deals where you can get printed tees and you can get a number of them um, sold at once but it's so lovely to kind of take these items and style them up with different kind of elements mm. you can play between chill and also a more formal look for the kids while making sure that they are comfortable and again I want to reiterate that you said that the feel of it it's light it's flowy because we know now it's summer they exactly. don't want to be you know with the layers of layers of layers Absolutely. everything is fresh but we need a visual visual representation visual. So that I can see what look is going to look like for, <laughs> exactly. for, for Christmas. Because you know we need to buy December clothing. I don't hey. know if you ever got dressed for Christmas. So our first model is on his way. And we have a beautiful... Ooh, look at, I love this. So what I love about this is just a great striped t-shirt for him. Um, it's very formal but also quite comfortable. The material is easy. The chino that he was wearing, you know, is something with an adjustable waist belt. So he's super comfortable. And then if we have have a day by the pool we oh, have wait, that, that was a quick change a quick change hey that was very quick <laughs> um, what I love about this red outfit is that you know he can quickly be by the pool be comfortable and wear his flats and be great you feel good right yeah and it's like the chill out vibe exactly. the red definitely i'm just very confused yeah, i'm feeling this I, but I, it just changed now yeah, so what i like about this also there are a lot of graphic tees here and while he stays here we can definitely see that these kids can be comfortable he can wear this by the mm. pool he can run around and do errands with mom so many easy ways that these boys can get dressed and the girls have amazing clothes too that will make them feel comfortable and great and i love that if you just swap out the shoes as well uh it would let you elevate the look as well so exactly if I'm going oh okay so there's actually two I love so we've got two of them over here and I love the way that they're dressed I mean same kind of energy here great age group but we've got different looks here and just to show the range of the kiddies wear is so important and I feel like they're comfortable and cool at the uh, same they, time they're just giving <laughs> they're us in it. Face, giving us. but apparently you have something big for all the viewers out absolutely. there absolutely tell us it all so Woolies is running a deal where you can get three items for the price of two mm -hmm. you heard me yeah. three items for the price of two across the kids section for your girls and boys up until the 19th of December so that last minute Christmas shopping for the Christmas this is the time to get it, it. is now Knox Muffin <laughs> always good to have you boys you're looking stunning of course it is time to make someone's reality special this Christmas uh, congratulations to Debbie Cope you are the lucky winner of a 500 Rand Willie's voucher Ooh. congratulations Ooh. Yeah. To you. <laughs>
And of course, just to reiterate what Knox said is uh, uh, again, Christmas came early this year. You can shop the three for two deal on all of kids' fashion and footwear, swimwear included between now and the 19th of December 2020. Please note that sleepwear essentials and schoolwear are excluded. But of course, you at home still have a chance to win yourself that 500 Rand Woolworths voucher. All you have to do is reply to the competition post on Express's Facebook or Twitter page and tell us what's your must-have fashion item for this festive season remember to include that hashtag hashtag Woolies Christmas the competition closes today at 9 a.m. so you have 15 minutes and those T's and C's can be found on expressoshow.com let's celebrate every happy little moment this festive season well from thinking about our own beautiful children to how we can improve the lives of others discover how to make a real difference this Christmas by taking the time to reach and teach your children rather the value of giving to others during this holiday season by donating a charity uh, to a charity that gives gifts for children in need. Now, to be so, did just that with his visit to the Banakekeleni orphanage in Johannesburg with Safri Pol and their amazing Let's Plastic Responsibly initiative. Take a look. <laughs> One last time. Who's gonna get the ball? You know, of you. I'm gonna leave it with you guys. I'm leaving it. I'm leaving it. Oh, the joys of childhood. You've got to love it. But listen, it's that time of the year again where the gifts start rolling in. And that means in with the new and out with the old. But think about this for a moment. The fact that you've got toys to care out already sets your children apart from the millions of orphaned and vulnerable children across the country. But Safri Paul has recognized their need. And that's why they've gone out and started an incredible initiative called Less Plastic Responsibly, which is all about collecting toys and donating them to these children children and really putting a smile on their faces. Okay kids, come, 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 come. <laughs> What a journey, what a day, and here we are today, you're seeing your campaign come to life in the most beautiful way. How are you feeling? Absolutely brilliant. It is such a pleasure hearing kids laughing, having fun, enjoying it, especially in a time like this. Absolutely great. What's the feedback been like from the general public? I think overall it's been really great. The people have been supporting us, supporting the Angel Network, bringing their old toys in. It's been absolutely brilliant. We can't have had a better campaign and support from, from everybody. Let me tell you a little bit about the Banakekeleni Orphanage. Such fantastic work that they do. They service the community of Alexandra and they look after orphaned and vulnerable children aged 3 to 15. They provide them with school uniform, three meals a day, as well as lunch boxes. The work that they do is incredible and in how it impacts the lives of these children. And all of that work is important, but it's not just about the school uniform and the daily meals. They also provide a safe haven and nurturing care for children who would otherwise find themselves homeless and uneducated. Educated. <laughs> Were you naughty? Yeah. Were, are you sure? Yeah. Smogile, wow, what a day. And I can see the amount of work that you do here. You pour your heart into this centre. Let's talk about the story of Banakeke Leni. What exactly do you do here? Banakeke Leni simply means take care of them. So we've been here from 2003. So basically what we do here is just to take care of orphans and vulnerable children regardless where they come from. So most of them are from Alex and the surrounding areas. Um, what we do here, we look after them, take them to school. It's, it's basically a home. We give them that love, that warmth, that comfort and tell them every day that they are loved and appreciated by us. Let's talk about how something as simple as a toy plays such a big role and changes the attitude of a child. It puts a smile on their face. The children that we're looking after, they've never had something as brand new and as labeled as saying, this is yours. So today they're so excited. I'm excited as well. Just to, to see them smiling, to see them receiving that love from each and every one of you, it's, it's, it's amazing. The joys of childhood can never be recaptured and they only have one chance to be able to get that experience and it's such an important part of life and they've got to experience that without any hindrance.
The atmosphere here today is absolutely electric. Uh, how did it feel for you seeing those children receive their toys? It is the most heartwarming feeling. Just the big smiles, the big eyes, their bright faces. There is nothing better than seeing that child with just beaming with joy. These children deserve to feel loved. They don't, so many times they just don't feel loved. They don't know that they loved. And it's necessary for them to be able to feel like everybody else, that there are people out there who do care about them. The moment that stood out the most for me with the kids today was when they received their toys, when Santa arrived and was handing out all of those toys. You saw them really just obviously not expecting it. They weren't anticipating that they were going to receive toys today, but the energy just became so electric. These children will never forget today. Because think about it, we all have that one toy that we remember forever that's brought such fantastic memories. And now these children have an opportunity to also have a memory like that. We wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Kurt, what has been the highlight of your day? Wow, <laughs> look at this, look at the fun, look at the joy, look at everybody's smiling faces. Absolutely great. We need to do this more. What's your message of encouragement to all the parents out there with toys lying around who need to actually hand them over? Look at what the toys are doing to kids' faces. Please, if there's any toys gathering dust, lying under the bed, which is not putting a smile on your kids' face, take it, bring it to the participating malls. Let us put a smile on these kids' face. There are so many that just need it. Please do it. Well, it is the season for giving, but let's remember to do so responsibly as we clear up our cupboards and welcome some new gifts. Spare a moment to think of the children out there who go without something as simple as a toy. Put those toys aside for them and donate them. Put a smile on their face. Right now, though, it's time for Uncle Tabsy to explore and experience and dig deep into the inner child. Ah, oh, beautiful stuff, man. Ah, oh, such gorgeous children. Please help us make a difference in their lives. It is the season for giving, so let's do it responsibly. Help your kids clean out their cupboards, take their previously loved toys, and then go and put them straight into the Safri Pole donation boxes. You'll find them at Four Ways Mall, Mall of Africa, the Pavilion down in Derbs, the Vaal Mall, and the Blue Root Mall in the Mother City. And to find out more information and how you can take part in this incredible initiative, you can go to safripole.com. Yeah, but that's not all. You can also take part in their social media competition by taking a picture of yourself and your donation at one of the donation boxes. Upload your photo onto the Safripole Facebook page and don't forget to use the hashtag you can't play without it and a hashtag of your relevant mall when you enter in order to stand a chance of winning your share of 50,000 rand in festive, shop, uh, festive shopping vouchers. Now remember those T's and C's can be found on expressoshow.com and the competition runs until the 23rd of December 2020. Get, get on it, get on please. It. Join Safripol in donating your previously loved plastic toys this festive season at one of their select donation bins. Make a child happy and let's plastic responsibly. I can make my day. Here's to you. Can't work from home workers. Bo Terminator. Because every meeting key, I'll be back. The mask for getting shoppers. Hi. And you, who go the extra mile instead of keeping just 1.5 meters. To you who opened your doors again, we take our hats off. Nina, who kept us moving? 100%. And of course, there are no Mayini general dealers. You might not be essential workers, but you too played an essential role in keeping Mzansi working. And that's why we're giving you a chance to win your share of 5 million rand. Join Nedbank today.
Welcome back. Thank you so much for tuning in. We've got literally like five minutes to enjoy, so we're going to enjoy it with you and enjoying um, the movies. We love the way that um, you're know, going into a movie takes you into that other dimension. Um, it really does expand your mind. And of course, we put it to you guys to share some of your favorite movie moments and heartwarming stories about those favorite moments in New Metro. And you've shared some great, great moments with us. Do you want to get into yes, one? Yes, if mm. you want to, Vizalia, Rosalia says, uh, uh, it's always a date at the movies with my favorite person I call my husband or oh, Jurassic Park has definitely been my favorite movie I've watched in the cinema so far winning a year's free movies means a year of many dates and special memories hashtag express a new metro oh look at that yeah man all about that romance then in essentia um, had a great comment because I can relate to this she said my unforgettable memory was the first time I went to the movies at new metro first time I was still in primary school I watched the matrix I was with my class I must have blown your mind it was a wowing experience i loved it so much i made sure my child and i visited the cinema every payday weekend hashtag express on new metro oh, she deserves that year's worth of of movies man yeah, so mm. amazing remember to keep those memories coming you only have three days left to enter the competition new metro and express are giving one lucky viewer a chance to win a vip card which will give you access to the movies for a full year valued at 15 thousand rand yes just reply to the competition post on our expresso show facebook or twitter pages and tell us what your favorite new metro memory is don't forget to include that hashtag expresso new metro in your answer the competition closes on saturday the 19th of december at midnight and those t's and c's apply can be found on expresso show.com we'll luck. see you at the movies mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, it's the time of the morning where we sort of seal it off with another fire performance because the mom this is the moment, but now this time around they're gonna perform a song that's going to have you uh, take off your shoes like I am doing now. Shoes in hand, ladies and gents. Do you know why? Because it's time to dance. It's the African Cups of Medley. Get on the dance floor and dance. Give it to them. I wish. <laughs>
Celebrate spring with exciting giveaways. Look out for selected Clover products in store to stand a chance to win. Made with love by Clover. Uh, never feel good production.